morning, everyone. Uh, this uh, Committee on Labor Employment and uh, Human Resources Development uh, public hearing is now called to order. We'd like to uh, acknowledge our guests and the uh, resource persons. Let me start with the Secretary of the Department of Labor and Employment, our uh, favorite resource person in this committee, because this is Committee on Labor. So thank you for being here, Secretary uh, Silvestre Bello III. Uh, we'd like to acknowledge also our good friend from Bureau of Immigration, Commissioner uh, Jaime Morende. Sir, thank you for being here. Marami kaming uh, surprises, surprise uh, 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 statements nung nakaraang hearing. We also like to uh, uh, acknowledge our undersecretary from Dole, Renato Ebarle, Yusek from Dole, Ana Dione. Um, before I continue acknowledging our uh, resource persons, yung pinakamahalagang uh, bisita ng committee ay <laughs> hindi pala bisita, miyembro ng committee ay uh, katabi ko na ho ang uh, napakasipag at uh, hindi lang kinakampanya ko, iboboto ko pa. Senator Nancy Binay, maraming salamat. I have to, I really have to say that because uh, si Senator Nancy Binay has been uh, always perfect attendance ho yan sa ating uh, a committee on labor, if I'm not mistaken. Almost, almost, almost perfect attendance. But uh, again, like to uh, acknowledge her presence, especially her, uh, I'm sure her uh, meaningful inputs in this uh, uh, inquiry. We'd also like to uh, acknowledge the Deputy Administrator from Cagayan Economic Zone Authority, General Agrimero Cruz Jr., sir. Again, from uh, Bureau of Immigration, Deputy Commissioner Attorney Tobias Javier. Hi, sir. From PAGCOR, Senior Manager, Offshore uh, Gaming, Attorney Victor Padilla, Jr. And then we have uh, also from PAGCOR, Legal Counsels, Attorney Carlo Talatala and Attorney Lawrence Solis. From uh, PESA, OIC Group Manager, Attorney Ross Vicente C., From PESA also, OIC Foreign National Concerns, Ms. Felicidad Sayo. Action Lawyer from Legal and Legislative Commission, Bureau of Internal Revenue, Attorney Brianna K. De Los Santos. Thank God we have representative from BIR. Um, from PNP, Deputy Director for Intelligence, Directorate for Intelligence, Police Chief Superintendent Ferdinand Divina. Sir. From PNP, Chief Foreign Liaison Division, Police Superintendent Romeo Espero Jr. From PNP, Deputy Director for Community Relations, uh, Superintendent Joselito Daniel, sir. From PNP, mamdamin taga PNP, Legal Service Representative, Police Senior Superintendent Arthur Llamas. Directorate for Operations, Executive uh, Officer, Police Chief Superintendent Eugenio Pagirigan. Kompleto ang uh, PNP. Ang di na lang kompleto yung hinihingi ko pong report. Um, from BIR, Attorney Raymond Ipio, Action Lawyer from Legal and Legislative Commission. Um, Assistant Vice President from Clark Development Corporation, Mr. Rodem Perez. Thank you, sir. And from NBI, Mr. Ronald Aguto, Chief International Operations uh, Division. Sir, thank you very much for being here. Sa bawat isa po na naririto, mapagpalang umaga at marami, muli maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo. Uh, this juncture, let me give my uh, opening statement. We are discussing uh, SRN 243, Senate Bill Number 1508, SRN 751, and Senate Bill Number 1425. Huli po, magandang umaga at uh, maraming salamat sa inyo pong uh, pagdalo. Alam nyo, aaminin ko, naniniwala po ako sa kasabihan na bihirang masilayan, agad nakakalimutan. Sa wikang Ingles, out of sight, out of mind. 
Sana nga lang po ay masasabi ko rin po ito tungkol sa issue ng pagdagsa ng mga illegal foreign workers sa bansa. Nagsimula po tayo noong 2016, December, tanda-tanda ko pa ho, 1,500 plus yung uh, naaresto na illegal workers doon po sa Clark. Miss, <coughs> excuse me. Mismong mga taga-Clark ay uh, nagulat po doon sa nangyari. Ang mas nakakagulat po noon ay dalawang commissioner, deputy commissioner ng uh, Bureau of Immigration ay nasangkot dito sa napakalaking uh, sigalot at gulo at uh, dalawa po sa kanila no si uh, Deputy Commissioner Robes, Deputy Commissioner Argosino at yung mga tinalakay po natin ay binigay po natin, dinala natin doon po sa uh, Blue Ribbon Committee ni Senator Gordon at uh, napakinabangan po ito. But during then, uh, I still remember a lot of officials, government officials, agencies, departments ng, ng ating pamahalaan already stated na they will do their best to, be, to become better in regulating uh, Uh, the influx of foreign workers. 2019 na po at nandito pa rin tayo. Parang unfortunate uh, to say na walang nag-move on. Sa halip, parang lalong sumidhi at umigting ang lahat. Araw-araw, pulot-pulotong ang mga dayuhan na uh, workers ang nakikita po natin. Sabi ko nga nung last hearing, nandyan po ako sa Pasay, isang araw kumain ako, akala ko nasa China ako. Imposibleng makalimutan at hindi maaaring tayo'y magbulag-bulagan sa isyong ito. Recently, may insidente pa po tayo ng pananaboy ng taho sa ating mga sa ating pulis. Yung pong Chinese national na nagsaboy ng taho na si Miss Jial Zhang. Ayan po, nasa, nasa, andyan po yung picture, pasikatin po natin siya. Walong taon na raw po siya dito sa Pilipinas. Ang um, tanong ko nga po, ano kayang hawak na visa ng taong yan at Walong taon na po dito, isipin nyo po, pinatuloy nyo na for 8 years, nilapastangan ka pa. Totoo pong hindi natin dapat basta na lamang palampasin ang sabi at sabihin na nating uh, maliit na issue ang uh, pananaboy ng taho. Gano pa kaya ang maraming mga illegal foreign nationals na involved sa iba pang malalang krimen? O ang libo-libong trabaho ninanakaw sa ating mga kababayan ng mga illegal foreign workers. Ang lahat po na ito ay nag-uugat, unfortunately, sa mga petics, petics na patakaran. Petics na patakaran na nung nakaraang uh, pagdinig ay narinig natin mula sa Bureau of uh, Immigration, mabilis na pagbibigay ng special working permits na tila baga parang mabilis pa sa alas 4, magbabayad ka lang ng 5,000 Walang resibo dyan sa SM Ora. Right there and then, buong araw, makukuha na kagad yung SWP. Na walang kaakibat na alien employment permit. Kung ganyan po ang sistema, talagang magkakaroon po ng influx ng illegal foreign workers sa bansa. Ang problema, hindi lang kasi petix. May lagayan pa nga po, kagaya ng ating nabanggit. I think the Bureau of Immigration to identify the name and per the person's responsible for allowing the proliferation of foreign workers without the proper determination required by law. I believe they should be charged with violating Anti-Graft and Corrupt Practices Act for soliciting favors as a function of their office. In fairness to uh, Commissioner Morente, when we talk about it, immediately, nagkaroon siya ng uh, action agad. Uh, natigil yung operation doon, nagpalit yung mga tao, pati mga security guard, at siguro mamaya hingi po tayo ng uh, updates mula po dito sa pangyayari nito. May problema din po tayo sa DOLE, uh, Secretary Bello, especially nung last hearing. Mukhang petics din po yung ginagawa nilang labor market test. If you believe that compliance with the public posting of the job being applied for by a foreign national already constitutes compliance with your duty to execute the labor market test, then you are also accountable to the influx of illegal foreign workers. Kasi nung last hearing, sabi, magpo-post lang eh. Ipopo, sasabihin, ayan, ito ang trabaho. So kung hindi nakita ng mga Pilipino yung posting, may bibigay na sa foreign worker. Parang hanggang ganun lang po. Sana'y nagtutulungan po ang ating mga ahensya ng pamahalaan, lalo na ang BI at ang DOLE. Yet apparently, 
kita po yung lack of coordination. Kahit sana data sharing man lang. Mukhang wala pa po. Mukhang wala pa po. All we need is an interagency method of checks and balances to avoid the current problem that we face right now. This is the reason why we put a special provision in the 2019 budget that mandates the BI to coordinate with the DOLE pertaining to the entry of foreign workers. Sagrado po sa atin ang Section 12, Article 12 of the Constitution that guarantees preference of Filipino labor. Sa anumang trabaho, Pilipino muna bago ang dayuhan. Ito po sana ang pagbatayan paghugutan at paninindigan nating lahat. Ngayon po, ang palagi ko pong naririnig naman ay yung Pogo Workers daw, karamihan ang nabigyan ng SWP dahil walang maraming Pilipino ang marunong na magmandarin. Para po sana hindi tayo umabot sa ganito, ang sa mga arrests, illegal arrests na, na naririnig natin just recently and We'd like to commend the Bureau of Immigration just recently, if I'm not mistaken, two, three days ago, 276 were apprehended. 276 illegal foreign workers in one company alone. 276. At uh, again, no, karamihan po sa naaresto doon sa report ng NBI for the whole year of 2018, 95%. Chinards at inaresto illegal foreign, uh, I mean illegal Chinese nationals, foreign workers working, uh, 95 percent po uh, Chinese, and I think 80, 90 percent are working in uh, illegal online gaming. Issue po ito ng regulation, but regulating this online gaming, tumampogo companies does not begin and end with registration. PAGCOR is responsible for gaming operations and you are designated by the state to ensure compliance with our laws concerning gaming operations. Kasama rin po dapat kayo sa pag-examine. At sana may puso din tayo na examinin itong mga Pilipino na pupwedeng magtrabaho sa POGO. Mga Pilipino na pupwedeng uh, gumanap nitong mga trabaho available sa mga gaming uh, companies or, uh, or providers. Ang resulta po kasi, kaliwat kanan, ang pag-aresto ng mga illegal workers dito sa bansa at karamihan po nandyan po sa illegal, uh, sa online gaming uh, industry. Dahil nariyan po ang problema, I believe there should also be an interagency task force on foreign workers comprised of the PNP, NBI, DOLE, and BI. Kasi nga po, parang sa nangyayari, kanya-kanya pong galaw. In fact, naalala ko po yung uh, sa, sa Clark, no? Yung sa Clark noon, yung nanghingi po tayo ng data, kasama ko si Senator Nancy Binay, yung binigay po ng data ng Clark doon sa mga workers nila, foreign workers, ibaho sa data na nakuha natin from the Department of Labor and Employment na inisyuhan ng AEPs, Alien Employment Permits. Ito po ay sabi nila prerequisite para makatrabaho po doon. At guess what? Iba rin ho ang data na listahan na nakuha namin from the Bureau of Immigration. Can you imagine that? Isang issue lang po ito, isang lugar, iba-iba yung data, iba-iba yung pangalan, at parang wala ho talagang koordinasyon. Hindi na ho po pwede ito. Finally, ito raw pong pagdagsa ng mga illegal foreign workers maging sa construction secretary ay uh, dahil wala nang natirang skilled workers daw dito sa ating bansa. At nakakalungkot po, narinig po natin yung uh, tagapagsalita ng ating uh, pamahalaan na tila wala na raw po tayong skilled workers at napunta na daw po sa ibang bansa lahat. Eh, tinanong ho ako kanina ni Mike Enriquez, nila Joel Reyes Sobel, eh meron ba tayong data na nagsasabi na wala na talaga tayong skilled workers dito, nag-ibang bansa na lahat. Eh, ang ating unemployment ay 2.5 uh, uh, million, 2.3 million na uh, individuals pa rin ang walang trabaho. Uh, sa data ho ng TESDA, when I was there, I don't recall getting more than 20 or 30 percent of our graduates that go straight abroad. Yung straight abroad ho, ah, wala po ako narinig na ganun data. Hindi ko alam kung Ano na ho ang data ngayon, and I, I'm, I'm checking now with, with TESDA officials kung ano po ito, sapagkat 
last year alone, nasa 234,534. Gumraduate lang po ng construction-related qualifications. Uulitin ko, 234,534. Ganun ho kadami yung gumraduate. Hindi ko alam kung ilan yung sinasabi ng palasyo, ng Malacanang, na na nag-abroad na po at kulang na daw po tayo sa skilled workers. So ako, I have very strong reservation doon po sa statement na yun. At sana matulungan po tayo ng TESDA at uh, Dole being the head of the, the TESDA board by paper. <laughs> Natatawa kasi secretary, parang by paper daw po. And uh, let me po point out also uh, uh, for the record, the TESDA even allotted 25% of the training for work scholarship program, billion-billion po ito, na inalat doon po sa training for work scholarship program at uh, skills training po on construction-related qualifications alone. Kaya para sabihin natin, wala, eh, hindi ho ako makapaniwala hanggang ngayon until mabigyan tayo ng data na sila ho ay nasa ibang bansa na. Ano yung gusto kong i-point out? Sa pagdinig na ito, sana makita natin lahat yung importance of having a mechanism that if there are emerging industries in the country na nangangailangan ng foreign workers dahil wala ng capable, walang able at willing na Pilipino na kumuha ng trabaho ito, sana ho may mekanismo tayo na pag-aralang mabuti ito, magkaroon ng totoong transfer of knowledge kung technical ito o pang-expert ito, matransfer sa atin para balang araw, eh Pilipino naman po ang kumuha ng trabaho ito. Napaghahandaan po natin. Wala po tayong problema doon sa pagpasok ng foreign workers sa bansa. Siguraduhin lang natin tama yung proseso, maayos, hindi mangbubuhos ng taho sa ating kapulisan, hindi mababalitaan ng chop-chop, nanuntok ng Pilipinas sa isang bar, na nagtatrabaho dun sa online gaming again. Kaya, of course, sana, uh, makita nyo rin po itong responsibility ninyo. No? So, ito po yung ating ninanais. Bottom line, may number po tayo. May sapat na skilled workers din dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya ang tanong po, bakit ipinamimigay sa mga dayuhan ang mga trabaho? Bakit hinahayaan nating manakaw sa ating mga kababayan ang mga oportunidad na ito? Oportunidad na supposed to be magbibigay ng magandang buhay at magandang kinabukasan sa ating mga kababayan. Para kanino po ba talaga ang trabahong dala sa construction industry? Pinagmamalaki ng Pangulo at suportado natin siya 100 million percent doon sa Build, Build, Build program. Sapagkat alam natin yung Build, Build, Build is equals to jobs, jobs, jobs. Pero nakakalungkot pag nakakarinig tayo na ito'y napupunta. Even government projects ay napupunta sa mga banyagang manggagawa. I hope this will be our last hearing on the issue and we look forward to a committee report containing our recommendations to finally put an end to the influx of illegal foreign workers in our beloved country. Muli marami po salamat sa inyong pagpunta at uh, inaasahan po natin ang inyong uh, cooperation at uh, nais namin marinig ang inyong mga uh, thoughts about this uh, particular issue. Uh, at this juncture, may we uh, uh, also recognize the uh, arrival of Police Director Amador Corpus, Criminal Investigation and Detection Group, CIDG. Sir, thank you for being here. Um, let's give the floor, uh, first things first, to uh, our uh, good secretary from the DOLE, Secretary uh, Bellio, and then uh, after, perhaps we'll, we'll hear from uh, Commissioner uh, Jaime Morente. Thank you. Sir, you have the floor. Honorable Chair, uh, Senator Joel Villanueva, and my kababayan, the Honorable Senator, member of this committee, Senator Nancy Binay, Uh, magandang umaga po sa inyo. Uh, I would like also to greet my co-resource persons, Commissioner Morente. Uh, thank you, Your, Your Honor, for the invitation for us to attend today's public hearing. I am with my pinakabagong and youngest undersecretary, Undersecretary Anna Gione. Uh, and 
under Secretary Ibarle, ASEC Georgie Aragon, ASEC Benjo, newly appointed Assistant Secretary Benjo. And we also have officials from Region 3 and 4 and personnel from the Bureau of Local Employment. These are the people, your honors, handling the structure and mechanism of the department with respect to our mandate under Article 40, 41, and 42 of the Labor Code of the Philippines as man num renumbered na po ito. Ito yung tungkol sa AE po na binabanggit yun, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Alien Employment Permit. Your Honor, we share with you the observation that indeed there are sudden spikes in the end of Chinese nationals at ibang nationals din in the country. I am happy to report, Your Honors, that the department have taken decisive steps to address the issue. However, Your Honor, prior to these reports and investigation by the Senate, we'd like you to know that the department has already issued and implementing rules and regulation under Article 40 of the Department, uh, which is Department Order Number 186-17, or we call this the revised rules for the issuance of employment permits to foreign nationals. Your Honors, our Regional Directors and Inspectorate all over the Philippines are directed to strictly enforce inspection through the Department Order Number 183-17 or the revised rules on the administration and enforcement of labor laws pursuant to Article 128 of the Labor Code as renumbered. Last year, Your Honors, we reported to the committee that Dole regional offices issued, issued, Your Honors, 169,893 alien employment permits for the period covering 2015 up to 2018, or we're talking about an average of 42,000 per year. This number represents the applicants who have undergone the procedure as required by the Labor Code. Advocacy activity was likewise conducted with PADCOR to ensure compliance by the Philippine Online Gaming Operations, POGO for short. As of now, we are looking into the review of the existing AEP guidelines including the validity period of the AEP from one year, but not to exceed three years. There is a proposal to reduce the, to two years the maximum validity period because they think that this, this is more than enough to train our co-workers to the, to the new technology. Mr. Chairman, Honorable Chairman, Honorable Senator, Nancy, please allow me to end my opening statement with an assurance of our full support and cooperation to address the matter at hand and the proposed legislative measure. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Secretary. Uh, may, yes, we give the floor Mr. to Chair. Senator Nancy. But just before you answer, Senator Nancy, just to put on record, Dole, through Secretary uh, Bello, made mention about the 42,000 AEPs a year from 2015 to 2018. But uh, let me put on record, sa Bureau of Immigration, for 11 months, 185,000 po. 189,000? 85,000. 185,000. In a span of 11 months, ang special working permits. And I hope uh, we also take note of that because when we... When we uh, brought this up during the budget hearing, there are uh, uh, construction workers and uh, mga, mga, ano ba yung, mga, yung mga workers po na clearly kaya naman punan po ng ating mga kababayan. 
ayun oh no, yung figure na sinabi ko na 199 which is broken down to 42,000 169 na which is 42,000 average a month a uh, year a year po this refers to the AEP iba po yung special working permit issued by the yes my, my only point Mr. Opo. Secretary is that yung SWB mas madami mas mabilis and so that's why it is important that it's being vetted because you're the only agency that has the capacity to vet whether or not this can be filled by Filipinos tama po ba yes your honor it's thank you thank you Senator Nancy thank you Mr. Chair uh, siguro lang ho for more data lang Secretary Bello yung Ilan ho dito yung ano? Ano breakdown nito? Ilan lang Chinese um, and other nationals and what industry? Sa Chinese nationals yun on our web 85,496 which represents 50.3% of the total of 169. Next would be the Japanese, which is 16,000 plus representing 9.7 percent. Then we have the Koreans, 9.1 percent. The Indians, 6.7 percent. Then the Taiwanese, 3.7 percent. The Indonesians, 2.9 percent. The Malaysian, 2.4 percent, and the Vietnamese, Your Honor. Pero mer meron ba tayong breakdown ng industry? Saan dito? Siguro nga para mas ano, for example, yung 85,496 na Chinese, anong industry mostly itong 85,000? Meron din po tayong ano, Your Honor, yung per industry naman. Sa industry, We have the administrative and support services, which represents 35.9 percent. Then we have manufacturing, which represents uh, from 14 to 24 percent. Then information and communication, 10 percent, 10.6 percent. Arts and recreation, 10 to 17.5 percent. By occupation, sir, meron din tayo. Uh, Secretary, excuse me, may tinatanong si Sen Nancy, saan daw pumapasok yung sa gaming industry? Sa information daw ba? Or sa, or dito sa administrative support service activities? Pumapasok, Your Honor, sa administrative and support services, Your Honor. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Siguro, Secretary, ano ho yung qualification para mapasok kayo doon sa admin and support service activities. Kasi technically, dapat yung trabaho na to hindi kayang gawin ng Pilipino. Our assumption, Your Honor, is that these services are services that cannot be performed by Filipinos. So, a specific ano, job Uh, yung halimbawa yung job description or job title yung that falls under this uh, qualification Mandarin speaking yung magano mag magano sila mag in, mag send sila ng messages na in Mandarin your honor to, to be very frank your honor I'm not really uh, conversant with the operation of uh, Pagco especially the Pogo but they're really honor so maybe they can explain Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Secretary, pasensya na. Baka, baka kasi nagbamadali kayo. I, I'll, I'll take this opportunity to, to ask some questions. No? Um, one of your initiatives, uh, according to uh, Dole last, last hearing, uh, that is, it is undertaking a joint review of the policies on the issuances of special working permits. To date po, we have not received kasi any update on the status of the joint review. Can you, uh, if there is, can you give us an update dito sa tinatawag na joint review of policies relating to the issue ones of special working permits? And I think it is important to note that uh, whether we like it or not, you guys have to coordinate with the Bureau of Immigration no? uh, regarding this issue. The end view of uh, 
perhaps recalling yung uh, order na itong AFFJR number 05009 and Dole Memorandum uh, dated March 3, 2005. Uh, Mr. Secretary, why is the review taking uh, too long po kaya? Anong, anong, nasaan na po kaya tayo, sir? Thank you, Your Honors. Actually, Your Honor, we had a meeting yesterday, high-level meeting presided over by no less than Secretary Dominguez of the Department of Finance, Secretary Maynard Guevara of the Department of Justice, uh, DTI Secretary Lopez, then no less than the Chairman of PAGCOR was present, Your Honor, uh, Chairman Didi Domingo, uh, the BIR Commissioner was there, Your Honor, Commissioner uh, Dulay, and also representatives from BI, Bureau of Immigration and Deportation. This is a high-level meeting, Your Honor, and we are now in the process of uh, finalizing an interagency committee and upon the suggestion of Secretary Dominguez, it will be the Department of Labor who will head this committee only for the purpose of coordinating all the activities concerning the entry and the working of foreign nationals in our country, Your Honors. Kaya, medyo complicated itong operation, Your Honors. Kaya, I hope the chair, the committee, will consider giving us uh, enough time. Probably one month will be more than enough, Your Honors. We, before that, we will give you already Kahit the results. Kahit three months, bibigyan ko kayo. Sige, kaya lang, medyo matagal na, halos ilang buwan na po tayo naghihintay. But, but, but I'll, I'll, give, I'll, I'll take your word, Secretary. We have uh, great respect and uh, admiration po sa mga ginagawa po ninyo. In fact, yung mga hinihingi po namin na, na ibibigay nyo naman. Kaya lang, sabi nyo, high level, pero parang si Commissioner Morente, hindi nyo nasabing kasama. Kasama, kasama po, kasama, po. Okay, okay, kasama. <laughs> Secretary, uh, one last point before we, I give the floor to uh, Secretary, uh, uh, I mean, uh, Commissioner Morente. Uh, nabanggit nyo kanina yung AEPs na inisyo nyo, yung type of industry, etc. Nabangga nyo na po ba itong mga data na ito sa, sa data ng Bureau of Immigration? I'm saying this because as I was uh, uh, giving my opening statement kanina, doon ho sa nangyari, sa issue doon sa Clark, yung, in, yung, yung illegal workers po, 1,500 plus yung naaresto po doon. Iba yung record ng Clark, iba yung record ng Dole, iba yung record ng immigration. Nabanggaan nyo na ho ba itong mga uh, data ninyo? Your Honor, yung issuance ng special working permit is the mandate of the Bureau of Immigration and Deportation. I'm actually against uh, saying it's a mandate because I have yet to find the legal uh, cover why they are still uh, uh, issuing uh, SWPs, Your Honor. Well, there is an existing memorandum issued by my predecessor, Your Honors, and we have not uh, rescinded or uh, recorded that uh, memo, Your Honor. But, but let me give you a, a, an example, Secretary. If you see someone here in, in Makapagal, because September 6, 2018, there were about 34 or 36 illegal construction workers na inaresto po, thanks to PNP din na, na nag-aresto po sa kanila. 36 illegal foreign workers working in a construction site. Nakita nyo po, naghahalo ng semento. Kung sakali po na ma-interview siya at sabihin nung naghahalo ng semento, meron akong special working permit from... Uh, from uh, Bureau of Immigration. Ano pong gagawin natin? Hindi po sila illegal. Ibig sabihin, pag gaganon, di ba? We always the, assume the regularity of the issuance of the SWP or honor. So, kung wala pa siyang AEP, it means that he is working under that SWP that was issued by BID. Or Again, honor. Mr. Uh, Secretary, you saw that guy, you asked that guy, anong ginagawa mo? Naghahalo akong simento. Anong ginagawa mo kahapon, bukas, maghahalo ako ng semento? Hindi ko ba klaro yun na, na kayang gawin ng Pinoy na nag apply ng trabaho? I mean, just for the record. I agree, Your Honor, with the observation of the Honorable Chair. Kaya lang, Your Honor, in reality kasi, pag may nakita kaming ganyan, 
Hanggang ano lang kami, hanggang tingin lang kami, Your Honor. Eh. We have no police authority. Uh, if you give us, if the, the Congress will give us to the authority to immediately deport or even close the business uh, uh, establishment uh, hiring this guy, then we will do that immediately, Your Honor. Under, but under the present mandate of the department, wala kaming ganyang powers, Your Honor. We will just have to report them to the DBID. But you agree with me, Your Honor, na mali po yun. Kahit na legally nakapasok na dito, legally nakakuha ng SWP, mali po yun. Tama po ba ako? I agree 100%, Your Honor. Thank you very much. And kudos din po doon sa mga nag-aresto, doon sa MOA, na construction site, dahil mismo pong binabanggit ko na inaresto na illegal foreign workers sa construction sector, wala po sila ni SWP, wala. So can you imagine, ho, ang magiging complication, kung meron silang SWP, at alam natin na kayang gampanan ng Pilipino yung uh, trabaho na yon. So tama ho kayo and uh, and I, I thank you for your for your answer. Mr. Chair, siguro um sec just a suggestion. Baka through your own initiative, pwede niyo siguro CES can issue uh, something na para mawala na ho sa BID yung authority to issue that special working permit at talagang i-centralize na lang lahat sa dole. Uh, Your Honor, actually we are in that process already and uh, we already, I yesterday already manifested my intention to meet with Secretary uh, Guevara of the Department of Justice to discuss with him the issue of this uh, memo issued in 2005 by my predecessor. It, this is the reason or the basis for the issuance by BID of the Special Working Permit, Your Honor. Pinag-uusapan namin mabuti yan. Kasi kailangan din namin ang tulong ng BID. It's not easy, Your Honor, na tatanggalin mo yan. Paano yung mga darating na? Eh, we have a lot of tourists coming in. Pag, pag inalis mo yan sa BID, baka magkaroon ng, ano, ng uh, vacuum sa operation ng BID, Your Honor. So, Hindi, sec, pero ibang kaso naman yung tourist eh. Hindi, wala naman sila intention to to work. Baka, baka pwede mas i-define pa yung parameter kung saan pwedeng mag-grant si BID ng special work permit. Or baka na title, baka may mali din kasi dun sa title na special work permit. Kasi pag binanggit na yung word na work, automatic for, for me, and I guess for Senator Joel Villanueva, it falls under the Department of Labor and not under the Bureau of Immigration. Uh, we find uh, reason in your observation, Your Honor. Kaya lang, you know, when a tourist come in, uh, a, a traveler comes in, visa lang dala niya eh. And usually, tourist yan. Ngayon, kung pupunta sila sa BID, sa Zabila, we are going to work. So the BID will give them a an entire special working permit permit for them to work for the job and hopefully get an AEP. That is why they are given three, okay. uh, three to six months for them to get an AEP. Okay, uh, just to give our our people uh, the background there, kasi baka nawawala po sila. This stand in uh, March 3, 2005, yung dole memorandum. Kasi nga po, medyo natatagalan at gusto nila i-expedite yung pagbibigay ng working permits sa mga nagtatrabaho na less than 6 months. Tinitignan po natin dyan kasama, for example, yung ay, nihiramin ko po yung uh, statements ng uh, BI uh, representative natin last hearing, yung mga PBA imports, yung mga mag uh, ko concert dito sa Pilipinas, etc. So para mas mapabilis, nangyari po yan. Unfortunately, Secretary, nagulat na tayo na it has become uh, so big na hindi na natin na, 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 na re regulate ng maayos sapagkat uh, yun na nga po, nagulat tayo na yung mga nabibigyan ng SWPA, yung mga trabaho na pwedeng punan ng mga kababayan natin. And that's the reason why there's Article 40 in the Labor Code. That's the reason why the framers of the Constitution place in Article 12, Section 12, na yung preferential uh, hiring of labor should be uh, local, should be Filipinos, uh, kung sila ay able, sila ay capable at willing. So, dyan po nag, nag, nagsimulan. Siguro, Secretary, yung isa lang babanggitin ko, may, maybe it's a good idea na 
na doon sa mismo nga uh, BI magkaroon ng representative from Dole to vet this uh, this uh, uh, jobs whether or not they can be uh, uh, we can we can give it to a, a foreign national applying uh, for a working visa Sigo, si, uh, just 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 thinking out loud no baka baka po pwede yung ganung uh, uh, set up Tama mo, Mr. Chairman. Ano Parang po, yung Chairman? polo okay. sa embassies, di ba? Ganun okay. din po tayo. Okay. Uh, Pinag-usapan po namin yan, hindi lamang po tungkol dyan, kundi pati yung issuance ng TIN. Uh -huh. Napag-usapan namin yung tax uh, factor dito, yun, honor. <laughs> oh. So, lahat yan pinag-usapan po. Uh, kakausapin namin ng BI, kakausapin namin ng DOJ, and then come up with a new process, your honors. Secretary, sorry, let's give the floor to Commissioner uh, Morente of the Bureau of Immigration. Sir, you have the floor. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, good morning to everyone. To the Honorable Chairman, Senator Joel Villanueva, sir. Honorable Senator Nancy Binay, ma'am. Secretary Bellio. Uh, the other members of the uh, hearing today, good morning. Uh, I have with me uh, my two assist Deputy Commissioners, sir. Uh, Deputy Commissioner Tobias Abier and Depcom uh, Alegre, and uh, our division heads, uh, the people who are in charge of uh, the operations of the Bureau of Immigration. I would just like to read uh, the position paper that we prepared in line with the uh, hearing called for today. <clears throat> and. Uh, let me read uh, the position paper. Uh, the BI, through the undersigned, respectfully submits this position paper to the Honorable Senate Committee on Labor, Employment, and Human Resource Development. On SRN number 243 and SRN number 1508, on resolutions on illegal foreign workers deployed in the Philippines, please be informed that the BI intensified its operation against illegal foreign workers in the Philippines. Among the recent operations of BI are as follows. On February 7, 2019, we conducted a raid at Solomari Park Suits, Park Suites, Justado Makapagal Avenue, Paranaque City, which led to the arrest of 30 Chinese. They were caught working as sales clerk, barbers, cashiers, waiters, and other manual labor. On 18 February 2019, we conducted another raid against illegal foreign workers at Alpaland Corporate Tower 7232, Ayala Avenue, Makati City. It led to the arrest and charging of 276 mostly Chinese foreign workers uh, working at a business product outsourcing company engaged in offshore gaming without visa, proper visa. They're all from offshore. Lahat, lahat po sila? Yes. 276? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Uh, it's worth it to note that uh, not all of them were Chinese. There were some Malaysians, Taiwanese, Vietman, Vietnamese, and Myanmar nationals. On SRN 751, on influx of Chinese nationals in the Philippines, The influx of Chinese nationals in the Philippines, uh, we see it as a direct consequence of the increase of Chinese tourists in the Philippines. The government's objective is to increase the number of foreign tourists visiting the Philippines, including the Chinese. These foreign tourists visit various tourist sites, restaurants, shopping malls around the Philippines. On the other hand, the influx of Chinese working in the Philippines we saw it as a direct consequence of the growth of the offshore gaming industry in the Philippines. Many Chinese firms have invested and established offshore gaming businesses in the Philippines. Uh, Filipinos, uh, it's worth it to note that Filipinos cannot bet on offshore gaming uh, in the Philippines. The Chinese firms then hire Chinese personnel to communicate in Mandarin and Chinese language with Chinese clients in mainland China and other parts of the world. The BI approves application for special work permits and work visa of these uh, foreign nationals upon presentation and submission, among others, of the PAGCOR 
license authority to operate. And CA 613, section 4232 uh, uh, authorizes the BI to issue work permits to foreigners and impose corresponding fees. Likewise, CA 613, section 9G authorizes the visa to issue work visas. Then you recognize the uh, BI authority to issue a special work permit. Uh, as you have mentioned, Your Honor, uh, during the time of uh, Secretary Patricia Santo Tomas and Commissioner L.P. Fernandez, uh, it uh, required those uh, foreigners seeking uh, employment for less than six months uh, that they are not no longer required the alien employment permit, but they are they instead uh, required to secure the SWP. Nonetheless, to ensure that the BI does not issue special work permits to foreigners whose jobs have Filipinos who are capable, able, and willing to perform, the BI added safeguards. Very recently, on 29 January 2019, uh, the Bureau of Immigration issued Operations Order JHM 2019-002, the Supplemental Guidelines for Special Work Permit and provis Provisional Work Permit creating a negative list of jobs that automatically disqualifies applications for SWPs and PWPs and improving the BI's monitoring capability. <clears throat> this is a temporary uh, uh, intervention, Your Honor, uh, pending the issuance of uh, the joint guidelines uh, that will be uh, prepared or that will be uh, given to us by the Joint Interagency Task Force. Uh, there was an initial meeting last November 15, and we are waiting for uh, the subsequent meetings that uh, will be called. And we also have a special uh, technical working group uh, that has tackled the uh, issues that we will be uh, contributing to the uh, uh, Interagency Technical Working Group uh, Task Force that will be called. On 15 November, the Interagency Task Force resolved to conduct joint action to inspect the premises of companies engaged in offshore gaming operations and to update the 2016 Joint Memorandum Circular to better respond to the changing foreign labor landscape. In terms of revenue, the BI in 2018 collected around $1.2 billion from SWP, SWP fees, which were directly remitted to the General Fund. The BI hopes that the position to be that this position be considered by your honorable office, and the BI is uh, very open to any changes uh, in the matter of strengthening the issuance of work permits for foreign nationals, your honor. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Commissioner Morente. Senator Nancy. Uh, Mr. Chair, since sa banggit mo kanina dun sa opening statement mo yung tukol dun sa Chinese mo na nag nagtapo ng taho, can we just get an update? Ano ba siya? Ano ba may work may work permit to ba siya? Tourist visa. Student visa, student visa. Uh, visa hindi pa siya graduate. <laughs> she she is a dependent your honor of a, a holder of a special retirement resident visa. Uh, dependent, yes. Uh, but it's not a student visa holder. Pero sa mga huba don sa ino offer natin to encourage uh, retirees na pwede yung sila magsama ng dependent? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, it is being approved by the Philippine Retirement Authority. Yes, sir. Uh, the SIRB, on the other hand, the Special Investor Resident Visa is approved also by the Bureau of uh, Investment, Your Honor. Again, she's just a dependent. Hindi ho siya Dito to yung napabalita that she's a uh, uh, holder of principal. student visa, etc. And she's uh, been here for eight years. Tama ho ba yun? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Dependent, hindi naman kailan. Pero pag nagtrabaho na ho siya, hindi kailangan niya kumuha ng permit. Tama po ba? Uh, alien Employment Permit, Your Honor. And sa investigation na, hindi naman ho siya nagtatrabaho? Uh, no, Your Honor. Sa PNP, wala rin na, na hindi sila nagtatrabaho na wala akong ganong data na nagtatrabaho siya. 
Uh, just to point out also, uh, Commissioner Morente, last hearing, uh, your representative here stated that uh, a lot of uh, uh, holders of SWPs uh, come here as a tourist. A lot of th those guys, no? And uh, I think parang a big chunk uh, works at the online uh, gaming industry. Uh, is that correct, uh, Your Honor? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Around 90% uh, of those that uh, this is a ballpark figure, Your Honor. Uh, are in in the online gaming industry, the uh, application of nila is not individual. There is a petitioning company that uh, applies for them uh, for their special work permits. Do you know negative list na nilabas ho ba o ilalabas nyo? Kasama ho ba itong... Uh, Casino, ano ba yun, online gaming, kasama ho ba sa negative list nyo itong online uh, uh, Hindi yung ano, uh, yung mga labor or man uh, work that can be performed by Filipinos, these are the negative list na inilabas namin na hindi dapat uh, ma-issue sa foreign nationals. Pero, ano. di ba, kung tutusin mo yung SWP, one time lang naman kayo pwede mag-apply? Hindi ho ba to subject uh, to renewal? Uh, twice your honor, uh, one twice. initial three months and then they can uh, extend, uh, renew for uh, another, another three, three months, months, but that's the maximum and then period. And after that, kailangan they, silang lumabas? Uh, they have to leave your honor or uh, before the term of the second uh, application expires, they can apply for alien employment permit. For a 9G visa, a working visa, Your Honor. Or, but the scenario, ha, pwede din lumabas sila saglit for like three days <laughs> or one night. Lipad sila na Hong Kong, balik sila ulit dito sa Pilipinas, pasok sila as tourist visa, apply ho ulit sila ng SWP for three months, extends for another uh, three months. But, I mean, that, that scenario is very possible. Tama po ba? Naka-red flag na kasi sila doon sa aming system, ma'am, na they have uh, applied for the second extension. So, uh, yung scenario na lalabas sila, uh, I, would, I would not say na very impossible, but uh, we have uh, our, uh, date, our database uh, that will uh, validate that uh, they cannot reapply. So, wala ko dun, when you check your database, wala ko mag-a-appear dun na itong, uh, for example, si Mr. X, four times na ito naka-apply ng SWP in a span of, let's say, three years or two years. Wala ko, I mean, that is not possible. Uh, we will have to individually check yung, ano ma'am, but uh, yung short period na lalabas sila at babalik, uh, it is usually, the application is usually referred to our database and it will pop up na meron silang application uh, for... Tapos, may nahuhuli na ho ba kayo overstaying? Marami po kami nahuhuli ba na overstaying. Uh, these are those that we call uh, illegal aliens already. One day overstay is uh, already a, an immigration violation uh, for summary deportation po yun. But... Uh, we are lenient in uh, these things dahil hindi ho namin na monitor kasi ma'am yung aging of, uh, uh, of their stay. Uh, this is one uh, area that we would like to improve on our IT capability. Um, but, kasi for example, di ba nabanggit niya minsan it's a group that applies. Yes, Your Honor. Pero di ba dapat responsibilidad din nila to make sure na lalabas din yung grupo na yun after three months or after six months. So technically, madali nyo monitor kung nag-overstay sila kasi alam nyo naman kung saan sila nagtatrabaho. Alam nyo kung anong grupo yung nag-apply for that permit. So kung tutuusin ho, madali naman... I mean, there, the data is there. It's just a matter of checking. Siguro lang, alam nila na medyo may kakulangan tayo dun sa follow-up kung talagang nagsistay or hindi sila nagsistay. Uh, once they renew their second application, Your Honor, the company has already advised that uh, 
they should advise their employees to uh, to leave after the uh, termination of their uh, stay. Yes, how much po yung ano for them to apply for that uh, dalawang SWP? Uh, s 6,450 uh, per application, Your Honor. Mga 12,000 po yung gagastos gas nila. And gano'n kabilis, gano'n kabilis po yung proseso? Uh, three days po. Uh, uh, based on the ARTA, anti-red type act, uh, it should be within three days, maximum three days, na ilalabas, Your Honor. Siguro, Commissioner Marente, how much yung income niya from this ano, SWPs? Uh, we have raised 1.2 billion uh, 2018, Your Honor. Tapos siguro sa Secretary Bello, kayo naman, no? sa AEPs, how much have you earned? 700 million, Your Honor. Malaki din pala. Pero siguro dapat mas malaki yung sa inyo kaysa sa kanila. <laughs> Uh, now you have, an, you have an idea why... Mas marami kasi sila po uh, na issue sa amin, 169 lang. At yung more than 200 yata sila. So. I think ang bottom line, Secretary, kaya marami interesadong mga may sira ang tuktok na gustong pagkakitaan. But anyway, uh, uh, Commissioner, yung, yung database po ninyo, available po ito at all uh, points of entry or... Naiya lang po ba ito, Metro Manila? Buong Pilipinas po yan? Uh, in all our field offices, Your Honor, we have uh, the database uh, accessible. Okay. For as long as uh, uh, it's online, pero ina-update naman po ito regularly. Pa Your paano Honor. nangyayari? You have a guideline sa yung, yung rebounding on the questions raised by Senator Nancy. May guidelines po kayo dun sa special uh, working uh, permit na, for example, itong alien na ito should not be uh, issued an SWP. Kasi oh, yung, ulitin ko po yung experience po namin sa opisina, kami ho mismo to, ha, hindi ho to dinig. Kami ho mismo. Tumawag, uh, sinabihan kami na may express lane, expedite lane. And uh, ako, pwede nyo akong gamitin uh, witnesses, pati yung mga staff ko sa opisina. Na sinabihan kami, 5,000, walang resibo, same day makukuha. Um, uh, Ano yung guidelines nyo? Again, going back to my question, no? yung, kasi gusto natin masiguro na, no, iba yung sinasabi mo, yung sinasabi kanina, Senator Nancy, may resibo yun. Eh. Ito yung sinasabi ko, walang resibo dahil one day makukuha. Eh. Um, ba balikan ko yung question, uh, Commissioner, yung, yung guidelines so, for an alien to, to, to get his SWP, may, meron po ba? Kasi, kagaya po nung bilanggit nyo, and uh, with all due respect po, uh, you announced that the BI will no longer issue work permits to aliens seeking jobs as construction workers, cashiers, janitors, and other blue-collar jobs. Eh, klaro po itong cashiers kunyari, tsaka janitors na kayang pwedeng punan ng ating mga kababayan. Um, however, uh, when we ask for the submission of... Uh, of uh, these documents, ang Bureau of Immigration submitted uh, SWP uh, lists na breakdown, wala na po nga doon. Hindi na included yung construction workers, cashiers, and janitors. That was after your announcement, uh, Commissioner Morente. So, in my mind, ano ba to? Nilinis ba to? O tinatago ba sa atin itong uh, uh, listahan po na ito? Again, uh, ang siguro ang question ko lang, uh, Commissioner, is you say issue ones ng SWP, would you consider yourself as or, or the bureau as uh, the right agency to actually vet whether or not this particular job cannot be filled by a uh, Filipino? Uh, honestly, Your Honor, uh, we would welcome if uh, uh, other agencies would participate in the vetting of. Uh, um, those applying for work, uh, especially for nationals, uh, we have uh, guidelines uh, in the processing of uh, special work permits. And uh, these are, since this is a uh, decentralized function uh, where our other field offices uh, also issue special work permits in their uh, ter territorial jurisdiction, um, they have guidelines to follow, Your Honor. 
uh, we just issued the supplemental guidelines just a way of reminding our field units that uh, they should be aware that um, those jobs that can be performed by Filipinos should not be uh, given to foreign nationals. Your we, we appreciate that, Commissioner Morente, and we'd like to put on record that we love your efforts, no? especially when we got a chance to uh, uh, coordinate with your office regarding this particular issue. Napakabilis ho nung uh, pag, 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 uh, pag respond dun sa mga concerns ho natin. Kaya thank you. Thank you also for being open to the uh, not, uh, uh, DOLE or a, a, a an agency uh, capable of vetting all these uh, uh, jobs available here in the country uh, could help you in issuing uh, uh, visa, working visas. Now, uh, Commissioner Morente, you only have 105 plantilla position under your intelligence division. Is that correct? Uh, that is correct, Your Honor. Half of these are in the airports and seaport, uh, augmented by some uh, job order employees. Yung sa main office namin, around 40 plus, these are the ones uh, doing the intelligence work. Ilan lang po yan, sorry? Ma around 46, 47. So 46, or, this is the, uh, the one are, responsible for conducting immigration intelligence operations yes, sir, nationwide. Honor. Nationwide, Your Honor. Hindi kayo nagugulat ho doon? Uh, actually, that is one of the biggest challenges that we Ideally, have. Ideally, what would be the right uh, figure? Um, if we include the field offices, Your Honor, we need around 800. 800? Uh, yes, Your Honor. And, uh, Tapos 40 plus lang. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, we understand. Uh, siguro, and, and having said that, do you, do you because of these uh, challenges that we're talking about, do you coordinate with PNP, with NBI, with regard uh, the investigation of and crack down uh, on uh, the presence of illegal uh, foreign workers in the country? Uh, we do, we do, Your Honor. Uh, usually, it works both ways. Either we we coordinate with them, or they coordinate with us. Especially if they see foreign nationals, uh, uh, which are the main uh, targets of the operation. We work hand in hand with with them, Your Honor. Uh, there was even recently a new memorandum order or memorandum of uh, agreement that uh, I have just signed in, co in coordination with PAGCOR on the uh, uh, on how we, we can address the uh, online, illegal online uh, gaming. Sir, siguro hindi din po kami sa committee yung supplemental guidelines that you're talking about to implement stringent rules uh, on the entry of foreign workers. Hindi din po kami kopya nun. Um, at the same time, uh, meron ho kayong mga ginagawang internal uh, audit on all your uh, branches and pasensya na ho kayo kasi experience ko yung sa SM Ora. Pwede bang bigyan nyo kami ng, ano, <laughs> ng, ng, ng uh, report lang ho doon? Kasi we were told also that uh, uh, ongoing po, I'm not sure if, 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 if tapos na po ito, but ongoing yung investigation and in the uh, initial investigation, meron pong PNP officers na naglinger yung pangalan. I, I'm not sure kung, kung tama itong pangalan na ito, but uh, I will let you uh, name na lang. Dito sa uh, Corrupt Practices and Transactions, dito sa BISM Aura Satellite. Can, can, can you give us a... But b b before you give that, uh, Mr. Uh, Commissioner, yung internal audit, do you conduct? the internal audit with all your branches uh, how often perhaps before you answer yung sa issue ng SM Aura? Uh, we conduct regularly uh, audit on all our field offices your honor. This is uh, usually a, a task being performed by a uh, group from uh, the Bureau of Immigration uh, on financial transactions especially uh, the Financial Management Division and uh, in cooperation with the Commission on Audit, Your Honor. But yung technical, uh, when it comes to yung implementation of your guidelines, and now you issued another, I mean, the supplemental guidelines, you, you also conduct, that's part of the audit? That's part of the audit, Your Honor, and that is a function also of the Division Chief of uh, uh, the ARP, the Alien Registration Division, and the IRD, the Immigration Regulation Division, uh, who takes charge of uh, all of the uh, field offices and the Port Operations Division 
uh, when it comes to the international airports and one international seaport in Sambuanga, Your Honor. Thank you, thank you. Siguro yung sa on uh, our action experience on, namin. Yes, Your Honor, on SMR. Uh, the office in initiated an investigation on the alleged anomalous transaction at the BI SMR office. I have tapped the assistance of the PNP Counter Intelligence Task Force for the investigation and the conduct of the entrapment operation. I have relieved uh, Attorney Arnulpo Maminta, the office manager of BISM, our office. Uh, I have terminated the detail of Police Superintendent Alex Recinto from BI and uh, back to the uh, Philippine National Police. Uh, they, are, they are the subject of uh, investigations by the NBI and the uh, intelligence group of the PNP. I have rebanked the whole workforce of uh, SMR office from the head of the office down to the security guard because uh, in our follow-up operation, uh, we were able to uh, validate that the security guard was also involved. And uh, we have requested the uh, security agency to terminate this uh, his uh, work in uh, in uh, in BI <clears throat> I have also initiated the review of the frontline transaction in SMR office uh, it is now uh, classified as a field office they will not uh, be involved in special work permits working visa and grace period uh, uh, certification they are only uh, they will only do transactions involving visa extension, uh, exit clearance certificate, and uh, ACRI card, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, siguro, since abagit niyo yung visa extension, ilang beses ho lang ba pwede mag-extend mag ng visa? Uh, yeah. uh, it will depend on the nationality, Your Honor. For example, uh, Chinese. Oh. Chinese, po, uh, initial stay is 30 days. And then they can extend for another uh, 30 days. And then uh, um, they can extend for six months, Your Honor. Maximum of uh, six months. Under SWP. Ah, no, not the SWP, Your Honor. So the tourist visa. Tourist visa lang. Tourist na lang sila at hindi na sila mag apply So, technically, yun, dalawa yung paraan para manatili sila dito. It's either they remain as a tourist visa while working or apply as a yung SWP na pwede silang magtrabaho. So, pwede yung ganun yung strategy uh, nila. Yes, or no, but dun sa SWP po, we can we, we will be able to monitor them na at the end of the uh, working uh, working period uh, no authorized, they will, they will have to leave, Your Honor. For example, ito mga lately, ang daming nahuhuli, halos every night ata for the past weeks, may nahuhuli ko kayong mga illegal uh, foreign workers. Ano yung profile neto mga nahuhuli nyo? Are they um, using tourist visa or naka-SWP po ba sila? Uh, wala po silang uh, work permit, Your Honor. Uh, tourist, tourist visa. Uh, overstaying, uh, overstaying, yes, sir. Did they, mayroon ho ba dun sa grupo na yan na nag-apply to have their 30-day extended for six months? Uh, I will have to, to look on it, Your Honor, but uh, most of them are overstaying yes, and sir, baka working baka without permit. Because uh, uh, BID to submit to the committee a profile of yung mga nahuhuli na ho nila siguro kahit the past. Siguro within the year, yung Siguro, Senator Nancy, not just BI, but also PNP and uh, NBI is also here. Para mas maganda siguro na nakasulat doon kung ano, ano ba ito, tourist, overstaying tourists. Or, kasi pwede naman nung silang may SWP, pero yung company na pinagtatrabahuan nila, eh, wala namang permit from PAGCOR. Pwede din ho yung ganung situation? Uh, wala po kami nahuli yung honor na uh, with SWP on a gaming industry na walang permit po. Kasi, Kasi hindi mariraid yun eh. Kung, 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 kung may SWP sila, granting na mali yung pagkuha nila at nabigyan sila, 
hindi na mahuhuli yun. So, we're, 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 we're only talking about face value illegal dito. Hindi pa natin pinag-uusapan yung illegal na naging legal. So, that's, that's, that's our point. Uh, that's why we wanted this hearing na after the hearing, meron tayo talagang uh, concrete solution para pag-aralan at uh, hindi na maulit ito at uh, at the same time, maprotektahan natin yung, Siguro, share yung lang, jobs. Mr. Chair, kasi di ba, I'm the chair of the Committee on Tourism. So, may move ho from the industry na payagan na visa upon arrival itong mga Chinese to encourage uh, Chinese tourists. Kaso lang, since meron din ganitong issue tayo, I mean, we have to find the balance wherein we can ano, attract Chinese tourists. But at the same time, hindi naman sila mga agaw ng trabaho na dapat para sa mga Pilipino. So, siguro, maybe we can uh, get also your position pag di pagdating dito din sa move nga na maging visa upon arrival ito mga Chinese tourists. It is now uh, being implemented, Your Honor. Yung, opo, yung visa upon arrival, based on the uh, DHA Department order, in coordination with uh, the Department of Tourism, uh, DO number 42, uh, yun naman itong visa upon arrival, they cannot convert this to uh, a tourist, uh, yeah, on, to working visa. Um, Pumasok ko sila Usually, sa cruise line na ito. Hindi ho niya bibigyan ng SWPs. Ah, hindi po. Kasi non-convertible po yung ano. Good for 30 days only. And these are usually in uh, the cruise liners, two cruise liners or on our two groups. Um, may mga travel agencies po nag-apply. Sir Nancy, ito may question ako bilang, you, you being the head of uh, the Committee on uh, Tourism. Because we have been hearing a lot of this, na pupunta sila uh, as tourists, tapos magdatrabaho sila, especially yung mga Chinese nationals working in online gaming. Now, we have been bragging about uh, the 6.6 the .6 million all-time uh, record high uh, uh, na, na tourists dito sa bansa, tapos... Ito naman yung makukuha natin. So, I hope hindi ganun, hindi, hindi ganun kasubstansyal yung, yung uh, pumupunta dito ng turista tapos mag, mag, magtatrabaho. No? Uh, siguro, Dole and BI, is there an interagency initiative to harmonize uh, uh, tourism with regulating the influx of illegal foreign workers uh, posing as uh, tourists? Siguro... Uh, I wanted to find out kung kasama ba ito sa mapag napag-usapan, mapag-uusapan, Secretary? Uh, Your Honor, so far ang interagency committee ay limited sa DOJ, Europe Immigration and Deportation, DTI, DOF, and DOLE. Ay, hindi pa namin nakoconsider yung DOT, Your Honors. Sige, Mr. Chair. Si Senator Nancy being the chair. Senator. Baka ho, pwede niyo na nga rin isama si Secretary Bernard dun sa coordination meeting niyo. Pagdating ho dito sa influx of Chinese tourists. But, uh, not so related, ano, top, top, ano topic of, siguro magbuwan na ho tayo from tourism. Tatanong ko lang kasi, di ba, yun sa binigay niyo Secretary Bello, may mga industriya naman na talagang uh, nag apply ng AEPs. Ano mo bang proseso nito? For example, you're a Chinese, Chinese national. Huwag kayo na mag apply kayo sa construction industry. From China ho ba, doon nag-uumpisa yung proseso? Yung, uh, ay, ay, siguro yung counterpart na construction company, pumupunta ho ba sila sa embassy natin? Tapos doon pa lang kumukuha na sila ng um, application for work permit or upon arrival lang ho yung pag-aayos ng permit nila to work? Sa ngayon, Your Honor, yung upon arrival. Although, eh, so, technically, lahat ho ito, pumapasok dito as tourists opo, and opo. then sa ka na lang ho pinoproseso. Opo, opo. Pero, yun na nga, one of the measures that we are going to consider, Your Honor, <coughs> yung Bago makalis doon, eh, merong working visa lang kukunin ibibigay nung... Kasi ano for example, ah, itong build, build, build program. Alam naman nung natin marami dito, uh, may Chinese counterpart na construction company. Hindi ba pwede na from, let's say, Beijing pa lang, 
Because aminado, din, aminado naman ho talaga tayo na may mga gamit sila na talagang hindi kayang i-operate ng mga construction workers natin. Kasi I think sabi nila mas high-tech daw yung gamit. Hindi ho pwede na from, kanyari, let's say Beijing, pupunta ho si construction company sa embassy natin, mag apply doon pa lang ng work permit, bago ho nat, kasi parang hindi ho ata tama na papasok sila lahat dito sa, na turista. Na wala naman talaga silang balak maging turista dahil talagang alam naman nila na magtatrabaho sila for a construction company. So, hindi mo nasusunod yung ganong proseso because like us, di ba, pag tayo magtatrabaho abroad, dito pa lang humihingi na tayo ng work, work permit from the embassy of the country kung saan ho tayo magtatrabaho. So, bakit hindi mo ganun yung proseso para sa atin? Your Honor, right now, wala po yung proseso niyan. But that is one of the procedures or system that we are going to consider in that interagency meeting, Your Honors. Uh, nakagaya ng sinabi niyo, Your Honor, na bago ka umalis, eh, meron ka ng OEC galing dito sa Pilipinas. Kaya doon naman, yung one, dapat meron ng makukuha ang working visa doon. Tutusin ka ko, dapat yung katulad ng ginagawa ko natin, di ba? There's an agency, uh, recruitment agency that does it. Hindi mo ba pwede? Dapat sila... I mean, kasi with, in light of the build, 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 na alam naman mo natin na talagang mukhang maraming papasok na specifically Chinese nationals because may mga equipment nga ako na... na in fact, may nakausap po ako dun lang sa this company, parang apat na libo na ata na Chinese uh, employees yung ina nila because nga dahil dun sa gamit na, na hindi natin matrain kasi nga wala tayong gamit para i-train yung... <laughs> so parang assuming that there's truth to that, di ba dapat ho ganun yung proseso? Actually, Your Honor, the Build, Build, Build infrastructure, infrastructure Program of the President is focused on our local workers, your, your honors, uh, especially our construction workers. Kaya sila ang priority, your honors. Yung mga foreign nationals, siguro highly skilled sila, specialized yung green field, yun ang i-allow natin. Otherwise, dapat Pilipino lang talaga makinabang dito sa field. Hindi pa kasi yun ako, parang imbis na yung proseso, mag-uumpisa pa lang habang nandun pa sila sa bansa nila. Isipin nyo, kunyari, highly skilled. Papasok pa rin siyang tourist dito. <laughs> yun na nga, yun, parang, we will adopt your honor, your suggestion yun na dapat doon pa lang eh, kumuha na ng mga requirements doon like eh, so, ito working ganito, visa. So, ganitong proseso is true for all countries? Or so, lahat po, your honor, lahat. So, lahat po nung nagtatrabaho dito, kaya weather, kunyari, general manager ka sa isang hotel, okay. you enter the country as a tourist. Yung ganun po, visa, uh, so and ngayon, then you just Honor. apply. Uh -huh. oh, okay. I think, siguro, Mr. Chair, baka we can uh, craft uh, something. We, we will, we will, we will uh, put it in our recommendation, in our committee report. But let me also point out, and I'd like to share the sentiments of the uh, chairman of the Committee on Tourism here in the Senate. Now, when we talk about spike in, in, in the tourism sector, 6.6 uh, million tourists, all-time high, etc. And now we're, we're getting all these reports na yung mga nagtatrabaho uh, mostly, uh, mostly, if not uh, a whopping 99-98% of those working in the online gaming industry na bawal sa China, eh pupunta lahat dito as tourists. Ngayon yung uh, uh, sa construction sector, may ganun din po. And, and by the way, Secretary, uh, siguro nabanggit ko lang din po yung construction uh, sector. I, 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 I went across dun sa CIAP board, the Construction Industry Authority of the Philippines. They have a resolution, resolution number 7. Uh, tinatawag po yung pansin ng Department of Labor and Employment requesting DOLE to ensure effective implementation of Article 40 of the Labor Code. Yung pinag-uusapan nga po natin. Sabi po ng SIAP, nakakaalarma na daw po yung pagdami ng Chinese at Korean sa construction works and activities. Kaya na, na kaya naman po ng local workers or professionals dito sa ating uh, bansa. Uh, na, na, nabanggit ko lang din po ito, Secretary, kasi kanina binanggit nyo, no? sabi nyo, pag may nakita kayong construction worker na foreigner na 
nagahalo ng simento o, o welder na kayang gawin ng Pilipino, wala ho kayong kapangyarihan to deport. Tama ho yun. Wala kayong kapangyarihan na, na arestuhin or, or, or ipakulong, etc. Uh, pero ang sigurong ang, 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 ang importante po dito is that Dole has the power to inspect, hindi mo ba? Inspect nyo, may inspect nyo kaagad uh, to verify kung legally issued man ang uh, visa o meron mang AEPs o nagkamali man ang inyong ahensya na nagbigay pala ng AEP at uh, wala pong ibang Pilipino na pwedeng gumawa nitong uh, trabaho ito. In fact, Your Honor, we have the authority to inspect with the end in view of possibly suspending or closing the operation of the company hiring these people, Your Honor. Yes, may, may mga ganun no, incidents na nakita kayo, nahuli, tapos pinasara po ninyo. May, meron po bang ganun na? Sa, wala pa ngayon. Sa ngayon, Your Honors, wala pa po. Uh, Siguro, uh, matapag natapos itong pagdinig, marami tayong madidiscover. Uh, Secretary, hindi pa natin napagsasalita yung sa gaming. We'll, we'll give the chance to uh, PNP. Siguro, isa na lang ho. Na, Mr. Chair, siguro, sige. ano, one last na lang ho kay... Uh, Commissioner Marente, meron mo ba kayo dita kung ilan yung pumasok na um, Chinese tourist at ilan mo yung umexit? May ganun? May yes, Your Honor. Can meron you, pa. I don't know if you have it with you uh, now? I do not have it now, Your Honor. Can you just send it to the committee? Thank you. Uh, data on the entry and exit of Chinese. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, Commissioner uh, Morente. But uh, let me, let me, Uh, sorry if, if it has become personal to me yung nangyari sa SM Ora. Binanggit nyo ho, uh, yung lawyer is attorney Arnulfo Maminta. Tama ho yan? Yes, Sir Honor. Uh, para yes, lang uh, nasa record din po natin. Tapos yung PNP officer is uh, Police Superintendent Alex Racinto. Is that uh, right? Re Racinto, Your Honor. Re Re Recinto. 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 Yes, Recinto. Yes, Sir Honor. Uh, isa lang po yun na uh, Police Superintendent. Uh, yes, Your Honor. But I also have... Uh, Uh, another one who acts as my chief of staff. Meron uh, pa pong isa? Uh, but he was not uh, involved, Your Honor. In uh -huh. the, uh, Ang question ko lang, bakit itong may PNP officer dun sa sa Bureau of Immigration Satellite Office? Ano hong... Uh, uh, sir, I requested their presence uh, when I took over the helm. Uh, they are covered with the uh, department order from the DIG. So you requested? Okay. Yes, Your Honor. Kasi so kulang na kulang po. Bantay sa lakay pala yung nangyari. <laughs> Uh, about, uh, it was uh, uh, very unfortunate and uh, the yung feeling of uh, being let down, Your Honor. Anyway, uh, Commissioner, we're here to help in any way we can. Uh, pwede nyo kaming uh, uh, i-bother anytime para matulungan yung uh, Bureau of Immigration. Marami din po tayong kaibigan dyan. Yes, sir. If there's uh, anything we can do to We help. would also like to uh, just open up this up, Your Honor for the support in our new immigration bill. Uh, kasi po, andun yung mga changes in organization, in policies that we think will help uh, strengthen and uh, capacitate the Bureau of Immigration. Your Honor. Lalo na yung 40 plus din yun na nasa plantilla ng Intelligence uh, Division na ang ideal pala is 800. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Commissioner. Thank may you, we sir. hear from uh, representative of PNB? Uh, may, may we... Sino kaya ko ang po pwedeng para yung, yung, yung sa position po niyo dito? And uh, actually, sir, I, I have to be honest, during the budget hearing ng PNP, we talk about it ni uh, PNP Chief Albayalde doon sa session hall. I wrote a letter to PNP and unfortunately, until now, I, I, I don't have any data or anything. Uh, nakikita ko, nagbe-based lang po ako doon sa mga ginagawa ng PNP at... Uh, Pinuri ko pa nga po ilang beses yung mga nahuli na illegal uh, foreign workers. Baka ako may updates po tayo. Uh, should, should I give it to... Uh, who should I give it to, <laughs> sir? We will... Uh, Director uh, Corpus, yes. sige pa, you have the floor, sir. Your Honor, uh, with regards to the clerk, sir, uh, we are checking on... Uh, Most, uh, mostly circus and operations, uh, the PNP is acting as a uh, support unit to the agency concerned. We support uh, the Bureau of Immigration. And uh, with regards to 
the Senate uh, resolution, sir. Of course, the PNP fully supports, and uh, we really welcome the idea of uh, coming up with the interagency task force. Para kasi sir, ko konti lang tao po ng Bureau of Immigration, especially in the regions and in the provinces. Our Directorate for Intelligence is uh, monitoring all uh, foreign nationals, uh, either as victims or as as suspects. And uh, nandito po yung representative sir. Uh, sub to note sir na minsan, hindi kami umaabot dun sa kung kung suspect man siya, it's a uh, Sometimes, uh, hindi kami umabot dun kung ano ang status tong alien na to. But uh, it's, uh, we're keeping track on all uh, foreign nationals na nai-involve sa crimes, either as suspect or victims. Siguro sir, yung, yung question lang, how many foreign nationals have you uh, arrested in 2018 for committing a crime or ano mang, uh, kung please you have a data uh, perhaps that you can uh, share with us? Uh, good morning, sir, uh, from the Directorate for Intelligence. Uh, we have a division called Foreign Liaison Division, the division that monitors all incidents involving foreign, foreign nationals and sends the appropriate report to the counterpart in the different embassies. And uh, from our data, 2016 to 2018 data uh, pertaining to Chinese, sir, uh, in 2016, there is a total. Sir, sir, hindi tayo. We want. We don't want to single out Chinese nationals. Yes, sir. Just, just to put on record, uh, foreign nationals, tayo lahat, sir. Para lang malinaw po. Uh, we're not yes, singling sir. out any nationality here. On, on the total of incidents, sir, in 2016, per uh, our record, there were 966. In 2017. Per our record also, there were 1,118, and for 2018, 967. The, the biggest number comprising these incidents uh, consists of Chinese nationals, and if I may read the record, sir. Please. In 2016, 137 were recorded, either as victims or suspects. In 2018, 327, rather in 2017, 327, and for the year 2018, 393. So for for 2016 to 2018, there were there were increases. Sir. I, I just noticed, uh, although it's increasing, it's not it's not like 50 percent of the total uh, arrests or. Uh, uh, mga kinomplain na uh, foreign nationals, no? Yung, yung sa na Chinese nationals, co uh, compared to dun sa report ng NBI na 95%. So mm -hmm. you are comparing 2016 to 2018. In uh, 2016, 137. For 2018, 393. Yes, so that's out of 967. Right? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, sir, siguro, give us a copy na lang, ho, but uh, perhaps my, my question would be, yung mga naaresto po ba at uh, um, na, 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 na naaresto po ninyo, wala ho talaga sila zero uh, visa permits yung mga illegal foreign workers na inaresto ninyo? Wala ho, zero, zero uh, uh, visa permits, zero SWPs? Sir, insofar as intelligence, the Directorate for Intelligence is concerned, we only get the initial report for information of our counterparts to the different embassies. Wala kayong proactive. Uh, Kumbaga, if there's a complaint, that's the only time that you come in. Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay, so, yun, maganda ho. Bibigyan namin kayo ng kopya para... You have, you have police powers anyway to, to, to check uh, itong mga lugar po na ito. Tama po ba? Because that's what happened in, at Clark, remember, I, I, if I recall right. Meron po, di ba? Police powers to check kung may nagko-complain. Merong uh, uh, to check on whether or not they are uh, properly documented. Is that correct? Oh, nandito pala yes, ako din namin. 
Yes, sir. Uh, in, uh, Mario, uh, good yes, morning. Sir. In the case of the Clark operations, yes, sir. Uh, we have coordinated with the Bureau of Immigration regarding the matter. And uh, also part of our SOPs in so far as foreign nationals are concerned, particularly in cases where they are suspects, we check with the Bureau of Immigration on their status, whether they're staying in the country legally or illegally. And uh, if their status is uh, considered as an illegal alien, we refer the matter to the Bureau of Immigration, sir. And then, if you make some arrests, nagko coordinate na lang po kayo. Ganun ba? Yes, sir. And if we find that uh, they have immigration violations, they are subjected to deportation proceedings, Your Honor. Ganun din po yung dole, hindi ba? Uh, you also coordinate with PNP kung meron kayong ipapaklose. At ito ha, kung, kung sisimulan na natin itong uh, <laughs> pag-check ng mga lugar na ito. Actually, Your Honor, ang nai-impose lang namin penalty is uh, fine. Fine po. Kasi yung mahabang proseso pa yun yung uh, suspension or closure, Your Honors. Uh, we are waiting for uh, a possible legislation, Your Honors, that will give Dole a plenary power on the issue of violation of this provision on AAPs, Your Honor. Thank you, Secretary. Mm -hmm. Siguro yung before I, I end off the PNP, can we just ask PNP to submit a formal uh, report in writing for our committee? Uh, uh, for our committee report, yung mga recommendations po ninyo, uh, kung paano natin uh, uh, ma, ma, magsusolusyonan itong mga pressing issues and concerns na tinalakay po natin. Yes, we'll do that, Your Honor. Thank you. Ha. Um, let me go to uh, NBI, sir. Can we uh, hear a statement from NBI and then uh, probably one from PAGCOR? Uh, and then we go with the economic zones and uh, Siyempre, hinihintay natin din from the Bureau of Internal uh, Revenue. Uh, before, before we give the floor to uh, Mr. Aguto, kasi yung, yung, yung issue pa na napakalaki is itong uh, uh, online gaming. Oh. Ano ba yung ginagawa natin dito? Um, honestly speaking, I have some reservations doon sa issue once ng uh, online franchise from PAGCOR. Uh, considering that uh, I was a member of Congress, I think Secretary Bear was a member of Congress also during the time when we were deliberating on the franchise of PAGCOR, we never encountered uh, any uh, special provision na magbibigay ng online franchise, online licenses. In fact, if I recall it right, yung Supreme Court decision doon sa cyber uh, uh, libel, uh, kailangan magpasa ng kongreso ng baras. At uh, yun ang ginawa ng kongreso para mag masaklaw yun na, dahil hindi saklaw yun ang ating uh, uh, libel loss. No? So, but just the same, nandiyan na yan, but uh, we wanted to find out how we can uh, be of help, how we can protect our people. Um, yung online gaming, ho, doon galing yung isang, uh, isang uh, Chinese national na na kung saan ay uh, nanuntok po ng uh, Pilipina doon po sa isang uh, bar. Um, He Xing Feng uh, works in uh, Tianyu Tech, online gaming service provider. Kaya po malagay yung... Uh, Mahalaga yung uh, papel po ng uh, pagkor dito eh. And uh, I hope our, our friends from the Bureau of Immigration are also uh, take noticing of this uh, incident dahil hindi talaga pwedeng bigay lang tayo ng bigay ng... Importante po na we take note of all this. Um, I think the immigration officials are also aware of 
what happened November 23, 2018, when four Chinese nationals were killed and chopped up. I mean, uh, four Chinese nationals uh, killed and chopped up a Chinese woman uh, inside the condominium in uh, Makati City. So, hindi ho biro itong mga pinag-uusapan natin at uh, kailangan talagang pagtuunan ng pansin. Anyway, let, let me give the floor to uh, our Chief International Operations from uh, NBI, Mr. Uh, Ronald Aguto, and then from PAGCOR, from our uh, PESA and uh, BIR. Thank you. Sir, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, uh, I have here, Mr. Chair, the position paper from the uh, Unfortunately, when I left office this morning, the director is in another function. So, but we will be submitting it within the day, Mr. Chair. Thank you, thank you. And uh, not to preempt, Mr. Chair, the, the approval of the position paper, but a part of our position paper, Mr. Chair, is the data regarding the operations that NBI conducted for 2018. So this is from the 17 regional offices and 24 district offices of the Bureau. And as you have mentioned a while ago, Mr. Chair, for 20, 2018, we had 167 uh, arrests. And 145 of these is violation of uh, 1602 or the illegal gambling. And some are uh, involved in intellectual property rights uh, violation some for illegal quarry and uh, illegal mining. What percentage po ulit yung sa illegal uh, gambling, online gambling? 145 out 145. of 167, Mr. Chair. Wow, okay. And most, 95% uh, of uh, these arrested persons are Chinese, Mr. Chair. Some are Koreans, Taiwanese, and one Liberian. And uh, we've been, as, as a result, Mr. Chair, of uh, the hearings conducted by your committee, we are directed by our director to be more proactive rather than reactive in investigating these uh, uh, aliens uh, having or uh, making illegal activities in the Philippines. And we've been coordinating closely with our counterparts with the Bureau of Immigration so that as far as the, as like the SOP of the BNP, as far as the immigration violations are concerned, we pass it on to our counterparts with the immigration. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's hear from uh, Paggor. Uh, sir, who's, who's, who will be uh, uh, Attorney Padilla? Uh, before, be, be, before you before you give your your statement, sir, I think you you, you heard about the report. Uh, uh, there seems to be a big challenge right now uh, with regard to the problems arising from online gaming, um, especially with the influx of illegal foreign. Uh, workers and uh, again uh, let me point out what we stated a while ago that PAGCOR is responsible for gaming operations and you are designated by the state to ensure compliance with our laws concerning uh, gaming operations uh, i may not agree with it personally but uh, but we are in full support sa ginagawa ng pamahalaan uh, to make sure na na makatulong ito I, the bigger picture would be uh, this would help our country and people uh, and, and our concern even right now is not just safety but also the uh, protection of the opportunity of our uh, kababayans to, to land jobs. Thank you. Uh, Attorney Padilla Jr. is uh, recognized. Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. Uh, see the statement of Pagor. The conduct of offshore gaming operations in the country is not limited to the actual gaming experience, but also includes back office processes such as, but not limited to, gaming software platform development, marketing strategies, customer relations and BPO services, IT and other support solutions. The seeming preference of employing foreign nationals is only for those BPOs engaged in customer relations services. Since these entities maintain direct contact and interaction with foreign players situated abroad, it is preferred that the concerned employees be native speakers of the language of the foreign players and fully aware of the cultural nuances. 
such language peculiarity is imperative so as to effectively address the concerns of the playing customers and presumably to, the, to maintain patronage of these players to their product offerings. As for the rest of the ent entities providing components for the offshore gaming operations, employment opportunities are open for Filipinos in the IT and gaming sectors, particularly for those IT solutions, back office support, and online casino dealers, among others. It also bears stressing that auxiliary jobs, which provides logistics and support, have opened for Filipinos such as food enterprises for BPOs and transportation facilities, among others. At present, there is a real need among offshore gaming operators for the services of foreign-speaking customer service personnel. While there may be Filipinos who have the same capacity, their number is limited to accommodate the volume of clientele of the said operations. Moreover, while there may be Filipinos who are able to effectively assume the job responsibility, not all of them would be willing to work in a BPO industry for reasons unknown to this office. The understudy program has previously required by the Department of Labor and Employment in its issuance of area employment permit may address the concern in the making of this employment opportunity available for the Filipinos. Uh, that's it, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, b before, b before I give the, the, the floor and, and ask some questions no, from Pagor, Secretary, <laughs> nakita ko lang ko kasi yung, 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 yung nandiyan, live po yan eh. Tapos may... Uh, can we, kahapon ho, nung when we were discussing about uh, Pogos and nangyari. Gusto ko sana makita niyo yung live eh. Uh, kaya ko gustong uh, ipakita sa Gitari para lang, can we see it? Ang bilis naman kaagad mag-respond ng mga kalaban natin. <laughs> Ang hirap naman. Live po, Secretary, eh, yung mga Pilipino na binibigyan ng trabaho, kailangan nakasuot na ganyan. Kailangan, ayan, live po yan. Uh, pag Pilipino ka, yan ang trabaho mo, pwede ka dyan. Hindi uh, ko alam, uh, hindi naman ho dahil anak ako ni Brother Eddie, sinasabi ko to. Pero hindi ho ako natutuwa eh, pag uh, yung, yung ganyan, sana, I, I don't know, do we, do we even check this, uh, this, uh, places na pinagtatrabaho ng mga kababayan natin. Your Honor, we, we also inspect uh, places like that. In fact, may na-inspect na kami at meron kaming nakita na may AAP. Meron ding SWP. Ganun. No. Kailangan talaga i-harmonize na. Yun yung gusto yung sabihin. Salamat po, Secretary. <laughs> Mahal na kita. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's, let's go with Bob Gordon. Uh, sir, What's that's the total number of workers in the Pogo industry? Do we have a breakdown on the number of to foreign workers, uh, Filipino workers employed in this uh, uh, Pogos, uh, Your Honor? Uh, I apologize, Your Honor. We don't. We currently don't have any breakdown of the number of employees for the Pogo. Can we have that? Uh, can you can submit Your it? Uh, sir, as of ano, uh, we don't really regulate yet the employees of the Pogo operators. Uh, we are more focused right now because the uh, Pogo operators is fairly new to us. It was only, uh, the jurisdiction was only given to us 2016. We only started that. So our main focus was first at the operations itself, regulating the operations. But you do give uh, licenses and franchise to this Pogo? Operators, yes, Your Honor. Pero wala na kayong responsibility sa sa empleyado kung may criminal na pumasok na dyan or uh, ganun ba yan? Uh, Your Honor, we are more focused on the directors, on the company owners. If we check like... Uh, according to Bloomberg, ho, at least 100,000 Chinese workers entered the Philippines to work in the offshore gaming industry. Uh, this is the reason why their entry caused property prices to spike. Yung isang kaibigan ko po kagabi sabi sa akin, Nakakatuwa at nakakalungkot. Nakakatuwa kasi parang uh, gumaganda ekonomiya ng bayan dahil sa kanila nag, nag, nagtaasan yung uh, property, 
uh, dito, yung condominiums dito sa Pasay, pero nakakalungkot dahil parang bilang isang Pilipino na ordinaryong manggagawa, lalong tumaas yung presyo, baka hindi na kami makabili ng kondo. And it don't on me na baka mamaya rin, baka mamaya rin, dumating naman yung pagkakataon na puro foreigner na makabili ng properties dito sa Pilipinas, mas marami ng may-aring foreigner sa, sa, sa bayan natin. Now, so pag of the authority to has no authority, you, you mean to say, sir, that uh, to regulate the entry of foreign workers in the gaming industry, and I'm only talking about gaming industry. Your uh, Honor, uh, I think we do, you just don't want to overstep the boundaries of our jurisdiction. For example, if it's foreign workers already, it might be in the jurisdiction of the Bureau of Immigration, and the em employment, it might be with Dole already. However, after the meeting of uh, Chairman Road, uh, Secretary Bravo, we actually sent a memorandum to all our service providers that they must submit the list of all employees, their nationalities, and even their salaries. Okay, sir, it doesn't make sense kasi na kayo yung nagbibigay ng license, kayo yung supposed to be designated by the state to regulate itong gaming activities sa bansa na to. Kaya nga ako kinu-question ko yung pagbibigay ng online na uh, gaming licenses eh. Uh, but of course, it's a different story. It's a different issue. But but you also require your employees of PAGCOR license entities to get a gaming employment license. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, you require mo sila ng gaming employment license, pero hindi mo kayang i-regulate or hindi mo kayang uh, i-monitor itong mga empleyado po na ito. Uh, but you issue gaming employment license. Now, when you issue gaming employment license uh, to these foreigners, do you require these foreigners to have at least alien employment permits or working visa? Because what we have seen in the past, yung mga arrests na nangyayari, illegal, and, and these are illegal foreign workers, ano po ito ha, klaro to na in your face, illegal sila, kaya sila inaresto. But now I'm talking about those who have actually uh, earned this right to work here, and yet, hindi tayo sigurado kung sino sila at hindi natin alam o nabevet. Wag na ho yung hindi available o hindi kayang gampanan ng Pilipino, but yung mental uh, uh, situation or status nila, sigurado tayong safe tayo. Sir, uh, to date, we, we don't issue gaming uh, employment license to the Pogo employees uh, because again, it's fairly new to us. And also, I want to emphasize... Where, where do you issue itong... Uh, uh, gaming employment uh, license? Uh, so, in the workers of casinos and our workers, uh, PAGCOR, employees of PAGCOR and the integrated casinos, mostly. What, what's, what do you mean by integrated casinos? Does it mean na itong GEL na to, hindi kasama itong mga online offshore gaming service providers? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, but online gaming uh, offshore, uh, offshore gaming operators are not included, even the providers. Even the providers, where you uh, give licenses? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, are you aware of this, uh, Secretary, from Dole and Immigration? Uh, Your Honor, in our meeting yesterday, Chairperson Domingo uh, committed to give us a list of all the employees hired by their uh, uh, yung mga operators nila, your honors. And, and, and this includes mga foreign uh, nationals working here. Kasama po dito yung mga foreign nationals uh, working here. Yes, Dito sir. sa sinasabi niyo po hindi niyo uh, uh, nire-require na magkaroon ng gaming employment license. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, yung mga naman nire-require po ninyo, may mga foreign employees din po dyan. Na, na, na binibigyan nyo ng gaming employment license? Yes, Your Honor. So, what would, what would be your uh, uh, 
process sa pagbibigay nitong gaming employment license? Do they have to have an AEP from Dole or uh, working visa from uh, from immigration? Uh, yes, Sir Honor. Kailangan muna mayroon employment uh, from Dole and ano, Perth Immigration. Okay. So, that's clear. Now, what is not clear to me, eh bakit hindi ho kasama yung sa Pogos at yung mga service providers? Eh dito po sila nag, nag operate eh. Tama ho ba ako? Uh, actually, Your Honor, the operations is actually abroad. Yung lahat po na nandito is only production facilities. Ah, that is, uh, yung production facilities nandito eh. Yes, Your Honor. Ang tumataya ah, sa abroad. Yes, Your Honor. Pero yes. nandito po yung empleyado eh. Yes, Your Honor. Dito ho niya pineperform yung duties yes, and yes, responsibilities niya eh. Yes, Your Honor. Hindi po pwedeng sabihin ng operation lang abroad. Yes, Your Honor. So, give me Ayun, this. Ayun, okay. gaming pala. Is Dang there a po. substantial distinction bis between these classes of employees? Between Itong pa, uh, Pogos na hindi dumadaan sa inyo, na hindi na kailangan ng GEL, at dun sa dumadaan sa inyo na GEL, ano yung substantial distinction nila, yung classes of these employees? Uh, so the way I see it, uh, we're actually exploring also like yung gel with the Pogo patients. But as of now, the substantial distinction would be most of the employees in the Pogo operations, parang clerical lang in desk job sila not really exposed to gaming like that like for example in casinos they work in may tawahan talaga may tables but here the employees in the game are uh, offshore gaming more of more of the when you look at your office it seems like it's only bpo parang call frontal sa sila they answer questions it, it, it seems like bpo uh, siguro yung sa, sa clerk would, would agree with me ganyan ganyan po yung sinabi niya akala nila bpo yung next games dun sa clerk yung pala puro illegal chinese workers 1500 plus illegal chinese workers so uh, i hope i, I hope yes, pagko will look into this and i hope that your 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 your, your your statements, Attorney uh, Padilla, is the position of uh, 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 Pagkor Chair. Um, another thing, do you have a rule on a limit on the number of foreign workers to be employed by its uh, licenses? Because I was looking at your website. Yung mga BPOs that are categorized as gaming service providers, you require them to hire at least a complete employee roster of 90% Filipinos, which I admire. Pero sa BPOs lang to na service provider. Pero dito sa Pogos, dito sa sinasabi nyo nga ho, na hindi nga sila kailangan ng GEL, I doubt it kung if you're also implementing this kind of uh, uh, requirement. Uh, can you, can you uh, clarify uh, this uh, particular issue? I will honor the 90% workforce for Filipinos is more connected to the special class of BPOs. These are the BPOs or call centers that the POGOS are not licensed by PAGCOR. It's, uh, so the POGO, they have an operator abroad, however, they do not want to be licensed by PAGCOR. So we... And they can exist? Uh, I mean, I mean the, the operations they, can exist? The PBO is actually servicing uh, an uh, operator not licensed by PAGCOR, but it will... Because it's not gaming. Still uh, gaming, the They're not actually uh, of uh, service the service is not really connected to the gaming. So their services are purely call centers, but they are still accredited by PAGCOR because... How could it be not related to gaming when it's... Uh, to begin with, it's gaming? Uh, first, uh, Your Honor, it's usually they just answer the calls when there's a glitch on the website or... They answer the calls, they... they when, when they bet, papano? Uh, they cannot handle yeah. this special class of BPO. They just answer hand. calls and then forward it to someone else. Yeah. Ba? It's it's more of uh, technical IT support, but they don't handle or any betting or anything in connection to the gambling or gaming itself. I'm very confused right now. I'm very confused. Um, again, our our concern here is. One, to protect our people, yung pumapasok ko dito. Two, we wanted to protect jobs available for our yes, kababayans. And you have seen all these pictures, the reports that uh, we have given you. May, may nanuntok, may, 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 may pumatay, mayroong 
kung ano-anong mga problema and ito yung ginagawa ko ng, ng, ng pagkor. Now, how, how many pogos are, are there exactly right now? Uh, right now, so it's 58. Yeah, during last hearing, uh, representative from Pagkor mentioned that there are only 58 pogo licensees and only one company that is accredited as a BPO, Special Service Provider for Offshore Online Gaming. Is that correct with you? Yes, sir. You're still, you're still I know, with that, no? Uh, with that answer. Just for the record also, does Pagcor accredit gaming service providers? Yes, Your Honor. So what are the types of service providers that you accredit and recognize? Uh, one, customer relations service provider. Two, strategic support provider. Three, IT support provider. Four, gaming software platform provider. Five, live studio and streaming provider. And finally, the special class of BPO. So right now, how many are accredited service providers? Right now, we have 205 service providers. 205. Okay. Now, just for the record, no, yung kanina para sumikat si ate na pinakita natin. Yung dealer kanina, hindi niyo po alam kung meron siyang uh, gaming uh, employment license. O no, meron sir. po siya. Uh, sir, I believe not yet because, uh, again, our pogo operators are not yet uh, required to have okay. gel. Thank, thank, thank you for that. No? At least for the record, alam natin na si ate kanina wala siyang GEL at walang, parang wala tayong pakialam na kung paano natin ititreat yung mga kababayan natin, mga employ employees na pumapasok dito, lalo na yung foreign nationals. Now, our office went to one office building along Ayala Avenue. Ito pong uh, PBCom Tower. We wanted to check the number of tenant companies that are engaged in online gaming industry. And it's good that Dole is here, Bureau of Immigration is here, PNP is here. Now, after undertaking research on the profiles of these companies, it appears that 22 out of the 38 companies listed in the building's directory are either offshore gaming operators or offshore gaming providers. 22 of the 38 companies, and I'm only talking of one building. These companies also occupy more than half of the floors in the building. PB Compuito sa Ayala Avenue. Six of these companies host live online gambling activities such as roulette and baccarat. I'm sorry, I'm not very good in gambling and I, I, I don't intend to be an expert. Um, four companies also identified themselves as BPOs that engage in customer support on online gaming companies. Now, kanina binanggit nyo po 58 yung Pogo licenses and one company yung accredited BPO special provider. So, it's either mali yung data po ninyo or marami pong nagsulputan na illegal. And I hope we can do something about this. Directory of offshore gaming companies only in PBCom Tower, Makati. Dalawang put dalawa po ito. Name of company, AC Stream Management Inc. Online Casino. I hope na makita po natin kung meron pong lisensya sa inyan o wala. Avantis, gaming support provider. Blue Pearl Tech, Gaming Platform Provider, Coast Redwood, Online Casino, Modern Charm, Online Casino, Dongshun International Inc., Online Casino, Few Wealth, Online Casino, Pacific Sea BPO, Business Process Outsourcing, Rainbow Promise, Gaming Platform Provider, Red Pixel, Gaming Platform Provider, Red Point Global, Gaming Platform Provider, SC88 Technology Incorporated, Gaming Platform Provider, Sigmatic, Gaming Platform Provider, Shanghai Tech, Gaming Platform Provider, Skyluster, Gaming Platform Provider, Global B2B Consultancy, Gaming Platform Provider, Intevalue, Business Process Outsourcing, Taishan Inc., Online Casino, Tianhu Tech, Gaming Platform Provider, Ginzu Tech International, Business Process Outsourcing, Wangfang Tech Incorporated, Gaming Platform Provider, and Wu Resource Management Incorporated, Business Process Outsourcing. Now, based on 
our initial research, these companies are mostly serving Chinese clientele. Now, is this country benefiting from all this? Are these legal? Are these companies uh, holder of your uh, license or whatever license or, 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 or um, operations uh, for them to operate here in the country? May meron po ba lahat ito? I have to double check the names, Your Honor, uh, but it, it seems consistent because right now we have 205 service providers. Because, for example, uh, one operator can have uh, at least uh, at least five to ten service providers, which is different companies working for them. So, uh, let me let me stop you from there. We have been uh, hearing this this issue of the influx of illegal foreign workers. Sa mga kinakasuhan ng NBI, charge ng NBI, inaresto ng uh, Bureau of Immigration, puro nasa online gaming. Tapos nandito ho kayo, designated ng Estado to protect the interest of this country, of our people, especially in the gaming industry. Pero sinasabi niyo ho, wala kayong masyadong ginagawa to regulate or to vet, to check itong mga foreign nationals working here. So, maaari po ba na itong mga kumpanya na ito nag hire ng mga foreign uh, workers na illegal na wala ang visa. Maaari po ba yun? Uh, is it possible, uh, Attorney Padilla? Your Honor, yes, there is a possibility. That's why we're working together with the already and we have always worked with Bureau of Immigration. In Thank fact. you. Thank you. And that's my point, sirs and moms, na nandito ngayon. Uh, pinadali ko na ho yung trabaho ninyo. Isang building pa lang po ito. Isang building yan sa Makati pa lang, Ortigas. Meron pa sa Ortigas, meron pa sa BGC, meron sa Quezon City, meron sa Pasay, meron dito sa MOA. At binabahan na po kami ng mga complaints. At nakakatakot ho dahil isang operation pa lang ng BI, 276 na kagad yung nahuling illegal. At mas nakakatakot po kung hindi natin alam kung may mga nakapasok na ho dito na miyembro ng mafia, mayroong nakapasok na dito na hindi natin alam kung anong gagawin sa mga kababayan natin na hindi, hindi na natin hihintayin na may magtatumpang taho sa ating kapulisan. E sana ho ay makita po natin ito. And sana ho, pagkor, uh, let's just have a heart na natignan na ho natin ito. Sana magkaroon tayo ng stringent uh, procedures para sa sa paggawa nito, yung GEL natin, extend natin. Kasi binibigyan natin sila ng lisensya eh. Pwede ba yung bigyan natin sila blanket authority? Ito, may lisensya na kayo, may prangkisa na kayo, gawin nyo anong gusto nyo gawin. Bahala na kayo sa buhay nyo. Now, yung question natin kanina, is this country benefiting from this POGOS? Well, can, can we hear how much we're, we're, we're getting out of this? Saan na pupunta? In terms of revenues, how much we have generated in the past uh, years? Because knowing the president, ayaw din ng presidente ng gambling. Pati nga dun sa Boracay, binan ni presidente yung pagbibigay lisensya sa, sa mga kasino dun eh. Pero baka hindi alam ni presidente, baka malaman po niya to, magalit ang presidente dito sa mga nangyayari to. Parang... Parang iba na ho ito, ha? Itong, itong, kung saan tayo papunta bilang isang bansa. I, I am not a fan of gambling, but considering it is there, at least we make sure that regulations uh, work, government regulations work. Anyway, sige ho, itong sa Pogos, uh, how much revenues are we talking about here? Uh, sir, 2016, 657 million. 2017, 3.924 billion. Malaki po yung tinaas from 657 to 3 billion? Yes, Your Honor. Anong, ano, what, 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 uh, what happened there? Bakit tumaso? Uh, because, Your Honor, it was a transition during the 2016. Because, uh, during the 2016, uh, we only had jurisdiction around September, Your Honor. So yung latest po uh, na data, how, how much uh, in terms of revenues, yung uh, latest 20, 
2018, 7.365 billion. 7.3 billion. Okay. Now, do you also check whether these companies pay taxes, uh, BIR? Alam nyo ba yun? Do, do they withhold also income taxes due to due from the compensation of their employees? Meron ho ba tayong data dito, BIR? Good morning, Mr. Chair. As of now, we do not have the data. But um, when the BIR started collating records for POGO support team, last March 2018, um, there are 54 registered POGO licensees. Pero uh, for today, sabi po ni Atty. Padilla, um, 58 na po. So may apat na... Out of 44 are foreign offshore gaming operators, 8 are registered and 36 are unregistered. And 10, Pogo, uh, 10 operators local, 7 are registered and 3 are unregistered. Hindi ko alam how, 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 how to react. But... Uh, so again, on BIR, I have no idea whether they withhold the income taxes from the compensation of their employees. Since the employees, uh, Mr. Chair, are illegal aliens, we support as uh, secretaries uh, better... Well, well those system. illegal aliens, but those who have become legal... Oh, for example, yung nakakuha ng SWPs, na check niyo ho ba yan? Um, at present, um, Mr. Chair... Um, Last Tuesday, uh, the Dole, BI, and Pagcor has agreed that they will furnish the BIR with the status or the list and status of the uh, employment of this. Siguro yung is another question, ma'am, is that with the 7.3 billion in 2018 revenue, ilan ho di, ma-compute ma ma ho ba natin? For instance na lang ho, ito sa isang, because we don't have the figures, unfortunately, imagine, nakapasok sa bansa natin, wala tayong figures kung ilan sila, ilan nandito, ilan nagtatrabaho sa online gaming. And legal na yung tinatanong natin, hindi pa yung illegal. Paano pa kung illegal yung itanong natin? So dun sa legal, na online gaming uh, uh, companies, service providers, POGOs, etc., foreign uh, workers na nagtatrabaho po dito. May idea ho ba kayo magkano supposed to be ang, uh, ang uh, buwis na supposed to be makukolekta natin from this uh, industry? Uh, Ma'am uh, Attorney De Los Santos or Attorney Ipio? Yes. Um, good afternoon, Mr. Uh, Honorable Chair. Under Revenue Memorandum Circular Number 102-2017, they are supposed to pay 5% franchise tax for uh, their uh, revenue based on gross and uh, subject to applicable tax uh, on the existing provisions of the National Intended Revenue Code for their compensation and purchase of and sale of goods, sir. Okay, having said that, 5% of its entire gross gaming receipts, tapos ito nga ho, ang revenue nga po is 7.3 billion. Meron ho ba kayong ginagawa para i-check natin ito at uh, makita ho natin? Kasi kung for gun revenues po ito, na nakawan na tayo ng trabaho, na nakawan pa rin tayo ng karapatang buwis na dapat eh, pumupunta sa ating kabangyaman. Uh, well, uh, Mr. Chair, for that, I think uh, we can start with the list that uh, the uh, committee will submit to the Bureau so that uh, we can check from that list where, 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 where or what company is not uh, registering their employees. I think PAGCOR will agree with me that they are more than willing to uh, cooperate with the Bureau of Internal Revenue. Uh, siguro, gawin po natin yun at uh, sayang naman ho. Masyado ng, masyado ng kawawa yung bayan. Anyway po, uh, let's 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 move forward. Let's 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 have PESA. Uh, PESA na. Saan PESA na? Ay, Dr. Ni, uh, Vincent C. Uh, sir, you recognize your, your thoughts on this, uh, please. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chair. Um, let me just state categorically, Mr. Chair, that PESA does not register online gaming or any activities directly or indirect, indirectly related to um, online gaming or gambling. So, so, wala po na offshore gaming service companies that are currently accredited and operating in PESA, registered economic zones, buildings, 
or spaces? Um, let me just clarify, Mr. Chair. Meron ho. Wala lang ho registered with PESA, but si PBCOM po is a PESA registered IP nga, center. Eh, kaya ako nagulat. Okay. Uh, but yung policy po kasi namin on registration of IT guidelines is the IT developer um, at the minimum, 20% of the total gross floor area must be um, directly related to PESA IT activities. Yung the rest po, How many percentage, sir? 20% of the total gross floor area. 20%. Okay. Sige so po, the the IT developer is not precluded to list out po yung ibang space niya sa ibang companies. What about those accredited by other economic zone authorities but are located within PESA uh, economic zones? Again, sir, we're, we're aware na meron po. Meron, but uh, they're not registered with PESA. Oh, not registered Only with PESA. Only the IT developer, sir. Yung may-ari po ng building. So, can you give us a copy yung itong mga economic zones and buildings or spaces na meron nito? Itong mga... Yes, sir. Itong mga offshore uh, gaming operators and providers? Yes, Give us na lang a copy, yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Chair. Hmm. And yung list, sir, na pinakita nyo, I just uh, received confirmation, lahat po yun hindi registered with PESA. Hindi registered? Yes. Thank you. So, kanino po sila registered kung hindi sila registered sa PESA? Again, sir. Uh, hindi nyo po no alam. Idea. Hindi ho kasi, and then ang part word dito. Sir, dun, kung kanino na po ipapalis sa itong developer yung spaces nila. As long as 20% of the total gross floor area is uh, registered or connected to IT-related activities or dedicated sa PESA, the rest po, bahala na po si developer. Okay. That's unfortunate. Well, again, yung objective natin, that's why we wanted to ask from you a list of, of these uh, uh, accredited eco zones uh, para ma-determine natin yung mga possible areas that have high concentration of uh, uh, illegal uh, foreign workers. Um, are, are you done, sir? You want to say something else, something more? As for the um, Chinese, sir, or number of foreign nationals employed in PESA economic zones, as of February 15, 2019, meron ho kaming 6,941. Um, 800 are Koreans, 851 are Chinese, Indians, 1,104. Japanese nationals, 2,505. And yung ibang nationalities, 1,671. Yung 851 um, Chinese, most of them are engaged or working in export-related activities. Dito yung Superl, Siglo, and Angeles. Ito pa yung companies gumagawa ng mga coach leather bags and wallets. And yung position po nila is... For managers, 204. Supervisors, 160. Production trainer, 152. Specialist, 46. And other positions po is 289. Uh, so, a total po, 851 Chinese nationals. Pero siguro, sir, uh, ngayon nyo lang siguro narinig ito, baka po pwedeng uh, uh, i-ask natin yung mga uh, PESA registered buildings to submit a list of their uh, lessees that are engaged in online gaming and related uh, industries. Yes, Mr. Chair, uh, we will Masama po yun sa masubmit natin. Again, ang, 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 ang ano natin dito is maprotektahan natin yung ating uh, bayan. Mahirap na kung sino-sino yung pumapasok, hindi natin alam. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, let's go with uh, Cesar. Uh, Mr. Uh, Cruz, Jr. Sir, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Your Honor. <coughs> First of all, uh, the Cagayan Economic Zone Authority lauds the uh, expeditious action of uh, the good Senator, Joel Villanueva, the Senate Committee Chairman on Labor, Employment, and Human Resources Development on the issue at hand, that is the irregular influx of uh, illegal foreign workers in the country. And it is the policy of the Cagayan Economic Zone that uh, to abide with the national laws and regulations, uh, spe uh, especially pertaining to labor. And uh, also as a matter of uh, policy, the uh, Cagayan Economic Zone, uh, under the inspired leadership of uh, Secretary Raul Lambino, uh, 
has initiated a uh, pioneering uh, business enterprise on financial technology, uh, blockchain, and uh, cryptocurrency, which requires at most uh, uh, savvy and uh, specialized skill in information technology, finances, and similar knowledge. In fact, CESA's vision and mission is now focused on this matter. In addition, is uh, CESA's policy to provide uh, assistance insofar as hiring of labor is concerned, especially to specialized businesses. In this regard, CESA would like to submit a request that an exemption be made to the 80% proportion rule uh, insofar as uh, SB Senate Bill uh, 1108 is uh, concerned, rule on uh, local labor for uh, foreign businesses under uh, uh, the, the, <coughs> the Senate Bill. At least spe specifically for specialized industries such as uh, fintech, blockchain, and cryptocurrency earlier mentioned, and until a technology transfer scheme has been uh, completed. In so far as uh, the uh, uh, foreign workers' population in the Cagayan Economic Zone, uh, since 2017, uh, there has been a uh, uh, sharp decline in the number of foreign workers, uh, precisely because the good secretary, Secretary Lambino, cancelled more than 200 IGL licenses, interactive gaming licenses, and only about 26 remain in uh, the Santa Ana area, the uh, place of the Cagayan Economic Zone and Preport. And uh, we also abide by the uh, highest standards of uh, social responsibility to the uh, local residents, such as uh, we uh, before giving any uh, application to locators to uh, apply for the hiring of foreign workers, we see to it that uh, we consult with the uh, local uh, authorities insofar as the uh, availability of local labor is concerned. And also, uh, we abide by the procedure in, uh, uh, in our procedure uh, in issuing the Cagayan Economic Zone Workers Visa, that is uh, uh, the, the uh, issuance first uh, of or the sec uh, securing first the alien employment permit from the DOLE and uh, uh, the appropriate uh, application for uh, other uh, licenses and documentation from the internal revenue uh, before the uh, uh, Kagayan Economic Zone Authority uh, will issue or start to process the issue ones of the CESA workers visa. And uh, uh, before the uh, stamping of the uh, passport of the uh, foreign workers, uh, we see to it that we send the application through the Bureau of Immigration for the issue ones of a uh, uh, Republic of the Philippines uh, receipt uh, before we uh, uh, finalize the issuance of the CESA working visa. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. First of all, I love the efforts of CESA na, na requirement po ninyo yung AEPs before you give uh, uh, work permits or visa doon sa tatrabaho sa CESA. No? Just for the record, how many CESA registered enterprises are engaged in uh, gambling operations again? Uh, 26 po, sir. 26. 26 po yung natitira sa CETA, CESA. But are your locators generally allowed to locate in other places aside from the Cagayan uh, Economic Zone? Uh, wala na pong locators outside uh, our area. Yeah, uh, that's that's good to note. Because example ko ho, na gustong sabihin, itong Taishan Global Solutions Incorporated. And I'm glad that PNP personnel are, personnel are here. Kasi... Ito yung, yun yung pinakita natin, Taishan Global Solutions Incorporated. It is a CESA registered enterprise engaging in online gambling. But their main office is in Pibicom Tower along Ayala Avenue, Makati City. Anong tinanong po namin, yan po ay sabi nila, CESA registered companies, do po, company daw po sila. 
So, yung binabanggit niyo po kanina, hindi na po at uh, hindi po sila allowed to operate outside uh, CESA. Is that correct, Your Honor? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Your Honor, uh, wala po akong nakikita na ganong kumpanya dito po sa listahan namin na mayroon pong IGL license from the Cagayan Economic Zone Authority. Uh, pwede nyo rin po i-check yan uh, kung sino man yung kapulisan o sino man ang mag mag-check niyan. Ginagawa na namin yung trabaho ninyo. Pwede nyo i-check yan. Nasa website ho nila. Nakaregister sila sa CESA pero nandito sila sa PBCOM sa Ayala Avenue, Makati. At sabi ng ating uh, Deputy Administrator, wala po sila doon. Now, is it possible uh, you made mention about cryptocurrency? Uh, medyo ano to, pang, pang millennial to, Secretary Bellio. Kaya, kaya kailangan makinig dahil dito. Is it possible also, sir, that the cryptocurrency offered by CESA registered cryptocurrency companies uh, are used in online na gaming operations? Kaya ako nabanggit dyan because uh, we are concerned that cryptocurrency enterprises registered under, uh, for example, sa CESA, may be affiliated ho, in engaging in uh, online gambling. But they remain under the radar. They mask themselves as cryptocurrency companies rather than an online gaming service provider. And I'm sharing these inputs because we have experienced this before at Clark, di ba? Yung, 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 yung uh, next games. Uh, kaya, kaya ako gusto itanong yan, is it possible? And if it is, how do we monitor uh, ito pong in yung FTSOVC? Ito pong... Uh, Financial Technology Solutions and Offshore Virtual Currency License. Uh, again, ito ba ay pwedeng magamit sa online gaming operations? Uh, yes, sir. Um, uh, pwede pong uh, magamit yan. Kanya po tayo ay uh, closely coordinated with the Banko Central ng Pilipinas, the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission, and other uh, uh, agencies, government agencies, para po uh, as early as now, na nasa incipient uh, period pa lang po nitong uh, negosyo ito ay uh, handa na po nating i-monitor at hadlangan ang uh, paggamit ng mga pondo na maaring ito po ay minamani launder or even terrorist money. So tayo po ay uh, uh, vigilant uh, tungkol po dyan. As a matter of fact, uh, lahat po ng ating uh, binigyan ng lisensya in so far as uh, financial technology uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency is concerned, sila po ay uh, pinagtayo natin ng isang asosasyon. Uh, ito po yung uh, Asian Blockchain and Cryptocurrency Association na yes, na para po i-police ang kanilang ranks at maiwasan po ang uh, money laundering and uh, 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 pag, 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 uh, hawak po ng mga uh, terrorist uh, money. And uh, uh, yun po ay inahintulad natin sa Securities and Exchange Commission na mayroon po silang Philippine Stock Exchange. Ito pong uh, association of uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency ay uh, sila po ay uh, uh, kinikilala na po sa ibang bansa, particularly sa Taiwan, sa Korea and Japan. At sama-sama uh, po tayo with these countries para po bumuo at bumalangkas ng uh, mga panuntunan para po makaiwas tayo dito sa uh, maaring paggamit na illegal nitong uh, cryptocurrency. Thank you. Siguro, uh, sir, we'll ask for your, ano, uh, can you give us your, your inputs on how we'll be able to monitor and regulate this properly uh, para mapaghandaan din po natin. No? Kasi this is... Uh, uh, we are not against uh, emerging industries. We are not against uh, uh, technological breakthroughs. So, ang importante lang na, na, na napoprotektahan natin yung interest ng bayan. Yes, sir. We will, we will do so, sir. At uh, idadagdag na po namin yung aming may draft na uh, implementing rules and regulations as well as doon po yung regulasyon ng uh, ABACA or the Asian or the Association of Blockchain and Cryptocurrency Association uh, para po mapag-aralan at kung kinakailangan pong magkaroon ng ayuda sa ating uh, 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 kwan.
uh, Congress. Kasi yung kayo yung unang nag 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 nagpilot nitong uh, ganitong uh, programa, if I'm not mistaken, no? All over the country kayo yung unang uh, sa CESA. Yes sir, actually sir, hindi lang po dito kundi sa Asia Pacific. Sa buong uh, Asia so, Pacific. Na. Yes sir, okay. and uh, last last uh, two weeks ago, uh, uh, yours truly was in Taiwan at uh, pilit pong kinokopya yung ating uh, pioneering acts in so far as cryptocurrency is concerned. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we look forward to the submission of these uh, documents. Thank you very much. Now we go to Clark Development Corporation. Uh, Mr. Uh, Rodem Perez, uh, sir, po. you're recognized. Magandang hapon po, uh, your Honorable uh, Chairman. Uh, Sa halip po ng CDC, uh, let me uh, explain and clarify that uh, unang-una po, uh, salamat po sa opportunity. No? So, uh, it gives us the opportunity to explain what transpired after the 2016 incident no? na naging bukang bibig dito sa session na ito. Now, but before I even uh, mention about the, our inputs or our thoughts about the, this hearing, uh, uh, gusto ko pong punta... Uh, I point out that ang CDC po or ang Clark Freeport ay ka ka kaisa ninyo sa committee, kaisa po ng TESDA, kaisa ng DOE at sa lahat ng mga partners sa development, no? Or those who are uh, promoting uh, employment of uh, Filipinos. That uh, tinataguyo po namin, natin lahat, ang uh, ang uh, training po no, ng ating mga kababayan so that they'll have the equal opportunity, the chance to be employed no, sa ating mga uh, dumaraming mga investors sa, sa, sa Freeport Zone. Uh, yun po. So, uh, from 20 or 2000 until today po, we have generated 122,000 plus employees po sa buong Freeport. Uh, about 1.7 percent noon ay mga banyaga po. No, kasama na, na po doon yung mga may are, no, mga CEOs, chair, chairpersons, SWP holders, lahat-lahat na po yun, no. So 1.7 percent po ang mga uh, foreign nationals. Now, uh, the second point of my uh, input would uh, would be that part of what transpired after 2016, no. Uh, without waiting for any legislation, department orders, etc., we took upon ourselves to initiate our own policy to reformulate the way of how we do business, specifically on how to incentivize uh, investment. No, uh, what am I saying? Ang sinasabi ko dito is that uh, in Clark, if you invest, we incentivize investments that will generate more employment for our countrymen. So, uh, we have instituted sa ating investment policy, sa ating investment uh, incentives policy, that if you employ more Filipinos, then you get to enjoy tax incentives. In other words, tinali po namin, no? given our power without having to, to step into the shoes or uh, infringe on the mandates of other agencies, tinali po namin sa aming mandato in, in, uh, in being able to incentivize businesses yung uh, investments no, that will in, uh, generate or employ more Filipinos. So with that, uh, we continue to generate more jobs for our countrymen, Your, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Perez. Let me also point out that uh, during my stint uh, in TESDA, we had a no, uh, uh, great uh, relationship with the uh, Clark Development uh, Corporation yes, uh, to uh, train and employ uh, our kababayans no, dun sa mga, sa mga kumpanya na nandun po sa Clark. I remember yung Luentai uh, and other companies dun sa, sa Clark noon. But anyway, uh, sir, Y yung kanina nabanggit ko ho, no, during the uh, 2016 hearing when we asked for data yung foreign workers sa Clark uh, provided by your office ng CDC and, do and, and, and data coming from Dole and BI hindi po nagtatali eh. um, hindi po namin alam kung bakit but uh, we'll, give, we'll, we'll try to give you a copy of the Dole and the BI sa uh, uh, submission no, ng documents and find out baka mamaya meron kayong na, na miss or ang, ang, ang dole or ang BI. But anyway, um, 
yung Clark Development Corporation ba, do you allow uh, foreign workers from different special economic zones to work in companies within the confines of the Clark Special Economic Zone in Freeport? Hindi po. Ah, okay, yes. hindi po. Kasi yung last time, I remember, yung, yung mga nahuli na illegal workers are holders of uh, uh, special working permits from uh, CESA and other uh, economic zones, if I recall uh, right. So, yan po, klaro, hindi nyo po pinapayagan. Hindi po. Uh, in fact, we have, in crafting the policy immediately after that incident, we have uh, included the provision na uh, if you're working and we were granted a, a visa from other economic zones, you, you're not allowed or you'll be prohibited from even entering the premises of our locators. And you don't intend to have a memorandum of agreement perhaps from other economic zones na, na pwede mag-work? Wala kayong intention? Uh, we, we find no necessity, Your Honor, because uh, your lease agreement namin, your bi our business registration with our locators, already satisfy yung, ano, yung uh, safeguards no, not to allow these people to enter the premises. Can we also have a copy of that uh, document that you're talking about para lang masama natin? Opo, oh, dala ko na po. Okay, uh, dun sa committee report natin. Now, how do you monitor and regulate the entry of uh, foreign workers in your uh, respective uh, special economic zone? Uh, we are asking this because uh, I'm glad that you made mention about your, your intention to... Uh, to make sure that uh, our uh, kababayans will 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 uh, will be uh, our preferred or yung preferential uh, labor uh, hiring would be our kababayans. I was there during the uh, the uh, new Clark uh, city, city uh, launch uh, launch, and I, I'm so happy na it was mentioned several times. So I, I'm, I'm asking this uh, question to ensure na meron tayong, magkakaroon tayo ng mahigpit na monitoring as we regulate entry of foreign uh, workers. But also for the record, when you give out uh, a working visa in your, uh, in your uh, area, do you make sure that uh, they have alien employment permits before issuing the visa? Tama po. That's good. Thank you. Except for uh, certain executive positions po, like the president, chairperson, and the treasurer, hindi po sila... I think uh, meron po na uh, exemption sila sa, sa bill not to uh, uh, obtain the alien employment permit. Okay. But for the rest po, they are required to uh, obtain uh, an AEP. Siguro yun nga, yun yung plano ho ninyo, what to do uh, in, in terms of monitoring and uh, regulating the entry of foreign workers because uh, we are all aware about the 1.5 billion uh, dollars coming in, mm -hmm. no, uh, investment in the uh, 500 hectare industrial park in New Clark City inside the uh, Clark Zone. And with what's happening, sir, with what you heard today and uh, in the past, uh, siguro it's, it's, it's just but proper to make sure na maganda po tayo uh, tungkol po dito. Okay, sir. Unang una po, uh, we begin by uh, the so-called Clark Investment Priority List, no? So, doon po sa listahan na kasangat kung sino lang ang gusto namin mag-invest, who will be incentivized, meaning magbibigyan ng tax privileges, special incentives, etc. So, uh, mag-a-apply ka pala ng negosyo po sa Clark, nakasulat na doon sa mga conditions namin na merong limit po ang pag uh, ang paghahay ng mga banyaga. No? So, Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, hindi na namin po hinintay yung mga batas na upcoming or mga legislation to provide us. We ourselves have already instituted and made part sa aming application yung uh, yung pag-incentivize. No? So, uh, yun po. Uh, so, we require them to employ a, a maximum of 5%. As a general rule, 5% po, we just copied yung batas ng PESA. I think we are the second investment promotion agency in the Philippines that has that limit, no? Aside from PESA. So, but for certain industries, uh, your, uh, your Honor, uh, we allow a little more than 5% because, for example, you know, hotel industries, in order to fast track your transfer ng mga barista, yung mga chef, that uh, after hotel or our team parts would be, uh, so, so in other words, if the intention is to hire a foreigner in order to train more Filipinos, then that's a good thing. No? So we encourage that uh, scenario. 
actually uh, again for the record no uh, para din sa mga nakikinig at sumusubaybay sa pagdinig na ito we are not against hiring of foreign uh, workers uh, hindi natin kailangan katakutan din yung pag-hire ng foreign workers because beneficial din sa atin na ma-transfer yung kanilang technical knowledge, yung expertise nila. Basta we make sure na tama yung proseso. Una. Pangalawa, itong mga uh, trabaho na ito na ibibigay natin sa mga banyaga ay hindi able, capable, at willing ang ating mga kababayan na gampanan. So, I think that's clear. And uh, we thank you for, for, for that. Are, are, you, are you done or you want yes, to? Yes, thank you, Pa. Uh, uh, siguro yung isang ano lang po no, sa dole, last na, na, na bigla lang pumasok sa isip ko. Even the, even the grants na we're getting from, for example, JICA or from uh, Chinese government na, na grant sa atin, hindi pa rin po natin inaalaw Ba, just to put this on record, hindi pa rin natin inaalaw na kahit sino na lang ang mga banyagang dadalhin nila para gawin yung trabaho na kaya namang gawin ng ating mga mga gawa. Just, just, just for the record, uh, Yusek Dione, can you, can uh, you give this? That's correct, Your Honor. That's correct. Meaning to say, um, hanggang ngayon, Tayong lahat naniniwala doon sa Article 12, Section 12 ng Konstitusyon, yung preferential treatment for Filipino laborers. Hanggang ngayon, lahat tayo, buhay na buhay, yung labor code, yung Article 40, na tanging handoli lang ang uh, it, ito pong, itong uh, kaya po may tinatawag na alien employment permit dahil sinisiguro natin na tanging mga Pilipino, unang-una, ang priority natin na bigyan ng trabaho, ofera ng trabaho, bago mga banyaga. Yes, Your Honor, we still adhere to that. <coughs> Thank you. So, wala po tayong pinasukan uh, kahit na anong kontrata, agreements, na po pwede nang ihal kahit sinong banyaga na kayang gawin ng mga Pilipino yung trabaho na ito. Your Honor, just like to reiterate what the Secretary had said a while ago, that that's, that's part of uh, the ongoing discussion um, uh, in the interagency committee. Isa po yan. Sa, yeah. uh, Mapag-uusapan. Yes. I hope that we, we do something about it. Because, for example, in, the, in, in Malaysia, for instance, not, not every foreign individual who wanted to work there in any industry can work. In fact, they, 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 they specifically state, for example, sa agri, ito ka lang. If this is your nationality, dito ka lang. They don't care if, they, if the international community would, would think of them as bias or racist, etc. Because they wanted to protect their people. I think all of us should be in that, uh, the same, that same page. Na at the end of the day, we wanted to protect jobs. We wanted to make sure na may, may beneficial, may advantage lagi si Juan de la Cruz dito sa Pilipinas when it comes to jobs uh, availability. I think that's the, the most important thing. Anyway, if there are anything, uh, uh, any statements from PNP, from uh, BI, Dole, BIR, you, you want to say something else? Bago po natin na uh, uh, i-close itong ating uh, pagdinig. Is there anything, anything, NBI? Wala na po. Before I give my uh, closing statement, muli po, maraming maraming salamat sa ating uh, mga resource persons uh, this afternoon. This was a substantial and productive hearing. So, balit uh, mukhang mahaba-haba pang talakayan uh, ang issue na ito ng pagbibigay ng karampatang proteksyon para po sa ating mga kababayan laban sa illegal foreign workers. Sa ating po mga kasama sa Dole, malinaw din ang kailangan natin uh, pagtuunan ng pansin. Yung pong maayos, buo at ganap na pagpapatupad ng ating konstitusyon at labor code, lalo na po sa usapan ng uh, pagbibigay ng tamang oportunidad para sa ating mga kababayan. Hindi po lingod sa inyong kaalaman na naging testaman din po tayo, naging uh, certified barista po tayo, hindi po tayo makapapayag talaga na nababaling ang CC. Ngayon, sa ahensya ng PESDA, sa pagdagsa ng Chinese workers sa construction projects, dahil daw po sa Build, Build, Build program, eh, wala na pong mga uh, skilled workers available dito sa ating bansa. Um, 
yung data po will show not even 5% go abroad. Doon po sa mga graduates ng construction na sector natin. Ito po yung mismong nanggaling sa TESDA. Kaya sana makarating po ito doon sa spokesperson ng uh, Malacanang. Mali po na sabihin wala tayong enough supply ng skilled workers sa construction. Kaya nag-open up po tayo sa mga foreign uh, workers. As I've mentioned in my opening statement, the uh, number of construction graduates of TESDA increased by 180%. In 2018, from 83,649 graduates in 2017, there were 234,546 graduates in construction-related qualifications last year. Napakarami pong test the graduates ang pwedeng mabigyan ng trabaho. Mismong mga employers sa construction industry, nabanggit din natin kanina, naninikluhod na sa dole na enforce yung Article 40 ng Labor Code na dapat may alien employment permit ang mga dayuhan bago payagang makapagtrabaho dito sa Pilipinas. Mali din po ang paniniwala na nag a na lahat ang ating mga kababayan. Kasi nga po, gaya ng sinabi natin kanina, wala pa hong 5% doon sa mga nag-graduate sa atin ang nagpupuntang abroad dito sa construction-related qualifications. Sa Bureau of Immigration, while we take note of your efforts to apprehend erring foreign nationals, it seems the problems are compounded by uh, pagkos lack of regulation and consistent coordination with the agency's concern. So, balit kailangan po nating uh, palakasin at palakasin ng, uh, ang, ang regulatory function ng mga ehensya upang maprotektahan ang ating mga mamagagawa by properly ensuring regulation. Kailangan pag-aralan ang pagbibigay ng uh, working visa. Ito pong special working uh, permit, sinama ho natin. Ako mismo ang uh, nagsama dito sa uh, GAA na pipirmahan ng ating Pangulo na hindi po pwedeng ibigay ang special working permit, lalong-lalo na kung walang koordinasyon mula sa DOLE. Tayo naman po ay more than willing to work with the Bureau of Immigration and DOLE, Dole in this uh, particular issue. Muli po sa PAGCOR, malinaw po yung papel ng PAGCOR. They are the regulators but are... Uh, yung, 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 yung narinig po nating sagot doon sa mga nag-ooperate po dito pero hindi natin alam kung anong klaseng uh, worker po sila. Hindi po acceptable yun. Hindi din po nagtutugma ang data ng registered uh, POGOS sa data ng uh, BIR. Um, lost income for the country and lost opportunities for our countrymen. Uh, Klarong-klarong na na nakita ho natin sa ating pagdinig. Hindi din po consistent ang pag-impose ng uh, gaming employment license requirement. Malinaw na dapat may GEL din yung mga tatrabaho na foreign nationals sa ating mga pogos. Yun po ang ating posisyon. Uh, time and again, I have never supported games of chance. Since it's here already, let's step up and tighten our regulatory powers and enforcement. We can work with PAGCO, we can work with the online gaming industry. Nasimula na rin po dito ang formal na pagtatalakay at ah, pagpapakilala uh, ng, ng isang task force ng mga ahensya. Bukas at handa po ang inyong Committee on Labor para tulungan at paigtingin ang koordinasyon ng mga ahensya ito. Sana po yung mga narinig natin at uh, impormasyon na ating nakalap ay makatulong po at magawa po natin yung ating uh, tungkulin hindi lang para sa ating bayan lalong-lalo na po doon sa mga pamilyang Pilipino na naghihintay makahanap at makakuha ng magandang trabaho. Maglaan po tayo ng panahon para magsama-sama at pag-usapan ang magiging panuntuhan at direksyon ng ating uh, task force. Muli po sa inyong lahat, maraming maraming salamat at pagpalain tayong lahat ng ating Panginoong Diyos. This uh, committee hearing is... This committee here is uh, now adjourned and uh, again I thank everyone for being here. Salamat po at magandang uh, hapon sa ating lahat.